This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and this evening we're hanging out with Becky and Rosemary when uh, Rosemary has to cook supper for her hubby, so she's going to pop in here when she can, and Beth Schuler. So she's going to, she's visiting her mother and she's going to pop in when she can. But right now it's just Becky and myself. So you won't see the little um, boxes until we get a third person in here. So hi, Becky. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, me... Mary. And Giovanna's here. Hi, Giovanna. Welcome. Becky is working in her pick 10 book. Finishing it up, clear coating it. Oh, there's Sharon Labar. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Hi, Joyce. Welcome, welcome. So, Becky told me she just found her gold pins. <laughs> Might as well put them to work. Yeah. What brand are those again? Oh, oh, it's all in Chinese. Oh, it's a channel um, oh. by the Mitsubishi Pencil Company. Hello, hello. hello. Oh, Hi, Beth. I <laughs> Welcome, Beth. Can you see me? Um, yeah, yeah, I see another window. And I think so. We're on. Yay. And we hear you. No problems. So <laughs> Becky was just telling us about her gold pen. I missed the brand. Did you say Mitsubishi? Yeah, it says it's by the Mitsubishi Pencil Company. Oh, cool. I got them from Amazon. I got three of them in a package. Wow. And then I promptly put them in the glue drawer for some unknown reason for months ago and been looking for them ever since. <laughs> <laughs> That's laughing, but she knows what I'm talking about. I do. I do. <laughs> You're done there. But I've never finished this page I did with you, Beth. So I thought, well, I'll finish it while we're sitting here. There you go. Ooh, that's I'm cute. Trying to clear coat everything so I can, when this journal's empty, you know, not empty, but full, I can say it's done. I've been working on leases mermaid book oh wow is that what you're going to work on tonight tanya um beth yeah <laughs> but oh, i i just wrote a message to tanya my my <laughs> mind was but like, hey you works you can say hey you hey, hey you. You. I, I, no. <laughs> I think i'm um, almost done with it i'm just kind of like looking through making sure there's anything else i could tweak but i think it's done i can do a little flip but it's more, it's more of a um, nautical theme than than mermaid. I've got a mermaid in here. I've got my mermaid doll that I made her, and uh, but it's uh, hopefully it's going to be a useful book because I've got twelve months. Um, I've got the twelve months in here and pockets behind each one for birthdays cards and she can and i put nautical cards anything with a boat or lighthouse i've got cards in here for her to use so it's it's already packed full <laughs> oh this is not gonna work on this so but i think it's ready to go i need to put one more coat of paint Oh, I can I can work on it. I've got I haven't done my beads, haven't done the bling on it yet. Oh, you haven't done the bling on it yet. Okay. And I have a little bit of bling, so I can oh. do that. She's gonna like that. Yeah, I think and I think she's gonna be able to use it. It's gonna be useful, and uh, it's kind of like a junk journal, but it's it's gonna be a useful junk journal. I'm gonna move my tea. We had some more pop in here. Barbara Clark. Hi, Barbara. And uh, Holly. Hi, Holly. Barbara says, totally cute, Beth. I love your mermaid doll. You're good. Yeah. And I made, a I made the seahorse um, online one day. 
I did it. I showed everybody how to do a felt, a felting ornament. And mm -hmm. uh, so I put a, a, a seahorse in it too. Oh, there's a, it's, it's personalized a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. And I got a lot of my stamps in there. I have a lot of stamps. I don't have a whole lot of uh, nautical ones, but I I've got a few. And they, and it's all it's all family and no a lot of note card uh, papers and and uh, homemade card. This is a homemade card that my mom made. Oh. She recycles she recycles cards that are used and puts them on new cardstock. And we sell these at the church for 50 cents. Oh, and goodness. it's a recycled card. Uh-huh. So she's even got a card, a homemade card in there. So yeah, how that my mommy made. That's nice. Lisa will like that. She'll I think it. she will. And I found some playing cards that have that. beach scenes on the back. It's fun. Yes. A lighthouse. Mm-hmm. And I had some nautical grocery list papers, you know, and then I found a real cool book of a, of a guy named R.L. Lewis, and he was a Floridian uh, artist, did a lot of oils and watercolors, and I found the book at the, at the secondhand store, so I, I cut it up. <laughs> <laughs> Norma popped in here, and Nettie. Hi, ladies. Welcome, welcome. It's H. L. Lewis, R. L. Lewis, R. L. Lewis. Yeah, R. L. Lewis. Oh, his name. Yeah. And and I can show you the book. Hi, Christy. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. A. J.'s in the house, and Joy, and Barb, and Branson. All right. While she's looking on the book, I'm going to tell you that I am going to be working on fussy cutting. So I've got a big old stack of fussy cuts here. And I'm going to be working on my, when Rosemary pops in here, I'm going to get out my spine journal. <laughs> Been sitting there ever since she started hers. The eyes of an original... Original Highway Artist, R.L. Lewis, Jr. It's even signed. Oh, that's cool. But all of his paintings are in this book. Wow, look at all that. the beaches. and Are those uh, paintings like mine, are they separate plates? When I did that tapestry book, I noticed that the, the pictures were glued in. They were separate plates. No. Place. No, they're they're printed in. Are they printed in? Yeah. Wow. Beth, did you show your dolly again for Joyce? Yeah. Okay. Because I ran <laughs> to the other room to get these books I picked up at the uh, antique barn we went to yesterday. I got a couple <laughs> birds in blooms. How to it's fit a little... pattern perfectly and a water. I've done one of these before. The mm -hmm. watercolor quilts. Becky, hold, hold off a minute, and and we'll come and get the okay. because oh, they can only see the little square. Let uh -huh. let's show her mermaid, and then we'll okay. pop over to you. She's got brads in all of her joints. These little brads. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brads in her, and I have had more brads where you can put fins on their on her hips, but uh, I got it offline on video somewhere. On YouTube, She's cute. of course. And I used all the mermaid paper that everybody sent me, and Becky sent me a lot of things, and Elisa sent me a lot of things, and I, and Sharon Lombard sent me a lot of things, and Janet sent me some stuff. Actually, I've already sent Janet a little book. Um, I didn't make it quite as big as this one, but I gave. Since Janet is so good to us. <laughs> as a thing for monitor she helped me get started in the very beginning when i first started streaming yeah so i made her a little gift but anyway oh, yeah. and and i felted these online 
one day i showed everybody how to felt and i'll do it again i'm going to do some more felting yeah because i've missed your felting and uh it's it's fun to do i'm going to switch over to becky so she can show us the books okay there there we go i might take a minute for the lag time yeah Well, we decided to get out of the house yesterday and started driving up the mountain and uh, ended up in Landrum, South Carolina. And they have a, a antique barn up there. And we went in and Ooh. I got this book. It's quick watercolor quilts. And what you do oh. is you buy a large print of like they did roses here. And then you cut it all up into two inch pieces and then re put it back together with like as close to your background color as you can. And wow. I've made a heart like this. It's very time consuming. But I said, I want to get that because they've got other patterns in here. Like there's a teapot, tea kettle. There's one with a tea bag, a watering can wow. full of flowers. Are they so all done in that same way? Yeah. All the watercolor like, quilts are done in that same manner. Yeah. You fuse it, you fold it, and then you stitch it. So you, you do your design on a piece of fusible interfacing. And then you fuse it all down onto the interfacing. And then you fold it. Each place there's a, a square, you fold it in half and stitch that seam. And you do it in both directions. And then when you're done, it's all pieced together. And it's very stable because it's on the interfacing. Wow, just look at those designs. Yeah, there's a lot of really fun ones. So, And she said, do you know what our blue dots mean? And I was like, no. She said, that's a $3 book. And I was like, that's fine. I'll pay $3 for it when it's originally, <laughs> what, $27? Yeah. yeah I'll pay $3. And I don't know what I paid for the magazines. I think they were like 50 cents. But I got real happy when I saw they had some birds in bloom because I've been watching Janet's um, videos where she's altering a birds in bloom book. And then this is just the singer perfect fit to fitting clothing patterns. I think I might have this, but all of my books are boxed up and I wanted to make myself some blouses. So I, I'm I said, I'm just going to get it. And it was a dollar. So can't beat that. And that particular um, place we went was actually a hospice care uh, thrift store. So it was the money was going to go to a good, good thing. And that's all I have on that. I noticed Rosemary just uh, popped into our chat. Are you going to join us, Rosemary? I'm here. I'm Sally. Yeah, she's and let's see who else suzanne popped in here and they loved your barbara was really liking your watercolor quilt book i was watching oh. chat while you were showing that it's it's a lot of fun to do it's time consuming but a lot of fun to do is that rosemary hold it no that's beth there i'm she there is. i'm there there she oh she's working on her spine journal <laughs> Are you doing another one? No, what I'm doing is several people wanted me to make, um, you know, the basic black and white for them. So that's what I'm going to do. Basic black and white? Yeah. You know yeah. how I started off with the black and white, you know, for that particular journal? Yeah. And so some of them don't have, well, they think they don't. I'm sure they've got everything. But they wanted me to... Um, Make them one, so I'm making a couple. Very cool. When I make one or two things, I make more than than I need. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you get your husband all fed? Um, I think he's set for now, but you know. <laughs> well, if, if any of you need to leave, you know, I don't want you to feel like you have to stay for hours and hours and hours. So if you guys need to leave, you let just say. Say I gotta go. Goodbye. Let me know, and you know, don't just disappear on me. But uh, uh, I understand if you can't stay for a long time. All right. 
<laughs> I just had to get over here before the storm started again. We've got some really bad storms. Yeah, oh, I had to get off here? earlier. I don't know. This year has been a rainy summer, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. In the Midwest, it has been. Everybody's flooding. Our rivers are all past the flood stage. Wow. Like it can't handle anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they've already damaged over 300 homes have been flooded in my town, so. Oh, wow. They do not want more rain. <laughs> are, you high, are you high and dry enough, Rosemary? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're close to the river. I'm only like three. I mean, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm only four, four streets from the river, but we're up above. We're on high ground, in other words. So the people that live further down the river, it starts to flatten. And so they're the ones that, you know, are getting all the problems. Rosemary, mm -hmm. Barbara asked, how come you wiped that off? I didn't see you wipe anything off, but obviously you did. And Barb said, why did you wipe that off? Because my brush was too wet and it was just a mess. So... I so wiped it off. off the excess. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't dry my brush enough before I started, um, you know, brushing the the paint on. <laughs> Where's Mary? Where do you live? I live in Arkansas. Okay. Are you close to Vicky? Uh, Vicky Ross. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about. 40, uh, maybe we're about 45 minutes from each other. She uh, comes down here at least um, at least once a month, sometimes twice oh. a month to my studio and we play. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You have to do a hangout next time so we can. I was going to ask Vicki now, but I know she likes the afternoon hours. She doesn't like the evening hours. Um, she doesn't like to come in. You know, in the evening, she needs her evenings. That's well, what I understand, though. Well, she likes her hot toddy in the evening, so I guess that's why she doesn't <laughs> want to. If it's wine time, you know, it, she's not on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is so talented. Oh, she is. Definitely. That portrait that she did in that hangout that we did, I didn't know that was her. That was her. She said, Mary, that's me. I go, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's when she used to be a redhead. She misses her red hair. <laughs> oh. Well, I can tell you one thing. I'm not dyeing my hair again. I'm not dyeing it. No, 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 no. I'll go gray. <laughs> I have been growing my hair out for three years now. And there's no way I'm going to put a speck of color in my hair again. <laughs> I don't Doesn't work for you, huh? That was enough. Hi, Janet. And Josie is in the house. Um, Shelly, Crafty Mama says, we are having a drought in Hawaii, which is bad for the wildfires. Yeah. Well, um, all of our storms, and I imagine for you, well, for all of you, our storms all come from the West. Like if it rains in Colorado, we're knowing the, or, you know, in the, in the Rockies or out that way, we, or tornadoes or something, we know we're in for it. Well, or, we get it both directions. We get it from the West and we get it from the Gulf too. We get it down from the oh, Gulf really? of Mexico. So oh. that's when we get our, our humid storms and our real volatile storms because we get maybe some cooler air from up north and then it goes and meets up with the really hot air from the gulf and that's when all the kabooms happens you know so yeah. we get it from both directions <laughs> being right in the middle <laughs> it's just not enough to get it from one direction you have to have it from two well, <laughs> <laughs> Most of ours come from the west. Sometimes um, northwest. Very seldom do we get anything from the south and east. <sighs> so black and white journal. Yeah. So I I'm gonna after I get these um, 
just the fronts covered. Then I'm going to pull out any kind of uh, old scrapbook paper that I have that has black and white. That's how I made my original one. So I'm going to pull those out and start making signatures for these. And then, then they can cover it up like I did, turn it into a glue book, whatever it is they're going to do. So, wow. So I never like to do just one thing. So I figured... Yeah, we'll just make a few. It almost <laughs> takes just as much time doing one as do does making four or five of them. You know, you got a little system going. Yeah, well, you got it all pulled out. Why not? Yeah, exactly. I mean, because most of the time is finding this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. So after you found everything that you want to put in it, it's like, okay, let's make more than one. That's how it is when I do Beth's bingo. You know, <laughs> she's sped up her bingo now, and I'm really liking it. But I have to stop and find things. I'm going, oh, dear, what did I do with that? What did I do with this? <laughs> <laughs> and then it takes you two days to clean up. Yes. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I have to be disciplined because, you know, I have a, I have workshops here. So... You know, I'd like to leave everything everywhere, but you know, I can't because then I got to pick everything up, clear off all the tables for the workshops, and yeah, which I guess is good. You know, it makes me clean up at least once a week. So, well, I'm slowly getting the center of my floor at least cleared off. I still have a few <laughs> more things to do, but I've been buying those um, Sterilite boxes to put things in and to mm -hmm. organize things and that helps me a lot but then I have to remember what box I put it in <laughs> uh, Josie says she's having so much fun with Beth's bingo great that's good to hear let's go see what Becky's doing oh I'm just cutting Ooh. out critters cutting out critters oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a stack of fussy cutting. Should have told Scott to take Bernadette with him since he's going outside. I was going to ask you if Scott was home. Yeah. He's been sleeping in the other room and he, Callie came in and he had some video playing of this train. I swear all it was, it was doing is going forward and backward and <laughs> and then a whistle would blow and then it just kept going and i'm like he can't possibly be watching that same thing over and over and over <laughs> and i went in there and he's sound asleep <laughs> the cat kept coming to get me she's like are you gonna do something about that i mean seriously <laughs> listen to him he's in there just listening to that oh dear <laughs> that's funny when the oven timer goes off, she comes tearing into the room. The timer, the timer. And she takes me to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, dear. So well trained. It's not funny at all. <laughs> I'm not going to individually cut these dolphins out. I'm just going to leave them in groups. When I come home, when I go up to Hobby Lobby and I come home, I'm usually... I'm wanting to get... Because I usually go on Wednesdays and I'm wanting to get back in time to join... Becky, and uh, I go through from Grand Island, I go back through Hastings, and they've got a, tr a railroad track that just follows the highway down to Harvard all the way home, and around 5 o'clock, between 5 o'clock and 5.30, there's always a train on the track, and I'm going, no, I'm not going to race that train. No, <laughs> I'm not going to race it. I race it. <laughs> Sometimes they go a little slower because they're big old they're either coal trains or grain trains or something. So sometimes they're like a mile and a half long. But but I don't race it to get to the corner, you know. I don't try to do that. But the highway runs alongside parallel to it. And so I've been trying to time myself so that I don't see that train on the way home. <laughs> Have you been successful yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, sort of. 
<laughs> I really only go up that way once a month, so I don't, it's not like an everyday event thing. And how far is that away? How long of a drive are you taking? Well, I call it 70 miles. It seems like 70. It's not really 70 miles. It's probably more like 65 or something in there, but mm -hmm. I call it 70 miles. It's a long drive up there. I don't... I guess. It's... Yeah. So I only go once a month. It's my, well, I when they had that Hobby Lobby thing... I, I went up there then, but then I didn't go last week, so. <laughs> Look at Becky, she's sorting out, she's sorting out pictures there. Yeah, dolphins. I don't know, they, they, I don't know. That one almost looks more like a whale. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, Holly, I'm just going to argue with the big trains. I don't argue with the semis either. If they're if they're going to beat me to the railroad track, I'll slow down. <laughs> she said she has a vivid thought of Mary racing a train, hair blown. <laughs> <laughs> I usually try to stay parallel to it, but uh, yeah. We're learning a lot of things about you, Mary. Yeah, I'll tell you. You're exposing yourself. I know. That's, that's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will find out I'm not I'm not exactly who you thought I was. Huh? <laughs> well, we've got all these fantasies about everybody, you know, who they are, what they are, what they do, and then they break the mold and we go say, what? I uh, know. That's what they would say if my high school friends could meet me now. They'd say, who are you? <laughs> uh, that's what they'd say. But, you know, people change. Yep. People change. Well, I hope we do. Yeah. It's all part of our growth, right? That's right. That's right. Would have I raced the training in high school? Well, let me tell you, I remember getting together with a, a slumber party with some girls in high school. And, of course, 6 o'clock in the morning, we were out on Highway, highway 14 waiting for a semi-truck to come. And then about a half a mile away, we'd challenge each other to lay down in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, at least you I progressed. Now I'm running in a car, at least. I was too <laughs> chicken to do that. I I did it once, but that was it. That was it. No more. I, I'm not going to get run over. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. I got to dump all this black water. The crazy things that kids do. Let's go over to Beth and see what she's working on. Oh, she says, "Be right back." Okay, we're back on. We're back on you, Becky. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just all I'm doing is fussy cutting. So yeah, I'm just pulling apart this um, calendar I got at the thrift store. Yeah, and it's got just some interesting pictures. And I figured I'd cut the words out too. I've, I'm trying to sort my stuff by miscellaneous, you know, clocks, just backgrounds and stuff, and jewelry bits. And then I got one for animals and one for people and one for words yeah I guess I need one for flowers and birds too but i don't have a separate one they'll have to go in the wildlife stuff hi barb Philion. hi carly barbara's here and lynn wright hi lynn hi barb oh i already said hello to barb hi carly barb Philion. hi barb <laughs> but what I like about this calendar is they give you a choice of a large picture or a small picture to choose from. Wow. Some of these magazines, I'm fussy cutting and I... I do what um, Papa Dye said that she does. She goes through and tears out something like what you're doing now. You you go through a magazine and tear out articles that you think you're interested in. 
and then you th toss the, the magazine rather than do it a magazine at a time you do it a stack at a time but yeah. now i got all these pages and i'm going why did i keep that <laughs> <laughs> so, well this is a glazed pork chop recipe i know i why i kept that <laughs> So I'm putting it in a pile. Of, I don't know why I kept it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, by the time you get back to it, your taste has changed. Your projects have changed. Yeah. Bye, Barb. You go take a nap. Thanks for popping in. Barb Clark says she's got to go take a nap. Tony Campbell says, you know Tony Campbell, Becky? She says, hi, Aunt Beth's looking very busy there. Yeah. I figured if Mary was going to deal with some of her fussy cuts, I could do that for a little while. And then I'd have a bunch of stuff gone that I don't really need to hang on to. Yeah. Well, that's kind of me. I want to get rid of these. I want to get rid of it. I've got the mountain behind my recliner cleared out. But I've got, I've got a little hill of magazines to, to uh, tear apart. And then I've got all these pages that I need to go through and and uh, fussy cut so that's kind of what i'm doing right now holly said the trick the trick is figuring out what to say yes it is that is the trick <laughs> now um calendars on, on i saw somebody who took the calendars apart like you are uh -huh. and then they um faced the two glued the wrong sides together of the calendar so they had photo on both sides and they made a journal i think out of that oh which is kind of, i thought that was kind of cool i thought i'd try that sometime let's see shall i yeah. Well, some of these are just, you know, landscapes. And I was thinking if you just cut it down, then you've got a smaller landscape that you could do something with. Yeah. I'm not necessarily looking at the whole picture. But I like the colored words on this calendar. Let's I'm going to turn it on me for a minute. Okay. Tony, I'm just fussy cutting something like what Aunt Beck is. I have this stack. I actually have about seven inch. This is not seven inches. This is more about like three inches high. But I have a stack way, way up to here of images that I cut out that I need to cut. That's what I'm doing. I'm just visiting. I like to visit. Visiting and fussy cutting. That's what I'm doing, Tony. So I can have images for the pick tins. <laughs> We're back on Rosemary. We're gonna watch her do the black and white. Oh, I'm just I'm just pulling papers. Nothing exciting. <laughs> We came on to hang out, and none of us are doing anything very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be here a while, Tony. But just think of all the images, and think of the stack of magazines that I cleared out behind my desk. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just kept bringing them home from the library, and they just kept piling up. I had to get rid of them. I don't live like that. <laughs> A magazine hoarder. <laughs> oh, I was going to say wildlife. Whoops. No, I didn't. But um, I got a whole stack of Nebraska Life magazines. And they do really nice um, photography. And they have Nebraska poetry. And uh, Rosemary, what, I'm going to work on my spine journal, I think, later. And oh, good. What I'm going to put in it are these pages that I can't bear to cut both sides or articles that I enjoy. Uh -huh. So I'm 
trying to get there with my fussy cuts doing that. <laughs> Holly said, I thought you were calling me a cow. I didn't say Holly cow, I said holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Nene said that? I don't remember. Did I say holy cow? I think I did. Who said holy cow? Was that me? Must have been. <laughs> did that come out of my mouth, Holly? <laughs> Holly said, I thought you were calling me a cow. Oh, no, I'd never call you a cow. Maybe a heifer. Yeah. <laughs> holy heifer. <laughs> holy heifer. <laughs> Holly says, Tony. Barb says, Holly, you cracked me up. Hi, Wendy. Wendy says, Wendy Benson. She says, You two keep kicking me out. Uh oh. <laughs> YouTube can be kind of fussy. I have to wake it up in the morning. When I do my streams, I go, Wake up, you two. My early morning streams. <laughs> No sleeping on the job. What's on the other side here? Yeah, this Nebraska Life magazine does a lot of really nice photography. I really enjoy it. wildlife and, you know, they hit a lot of the smaller towns. They don't just do Lincoln and Omaha, which are our big towns in Nebraska. But they they travel all around the state. Actually, by reading these magazines, I've reacquired my love of Nebraska. <laughs> In high school, I always wanted to get out because there was nothing here for me. But going through these magazines, I've realized how much I really do enjoy living here. Something's happening to me. Uh -oh. <laughs> You better get your stuff out of storage and bring it over. Better. I was thinking I'd drive up there and, and get some of the things I really want, like my sewing machine and, mm -hmm. and that stuff. But we'll see. I drive up there. I might not come back. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I, well, yeah, I really like living I well, I'll tell you what I've discovered. Every time we go down to the house, it doesn't feel like home anymore. Oh, really? It feels like we're going into somebody else's house. And we own it, but, you know, once you're away, and it's like we can't wait to get back up here. But I don't know. We'll see. Well, that's a good point. Maybe I'll feel that way. I really liked living in Madison. I, I enjoyed living there. But yeah, I enjoyed the shopping. You know, I don't have the shopping opportunities here that... Good, you can save money. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I don't think I spend as much down here. Well, I know I don't. Uh, so, of course, I don't have to pay the bills. I mean, I have bills to pay, but I don't... My brother lets me live here with no rent, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, let's see. Debbie says, Lincoln has grown so much. I couldn't believe it was the last time that I visited Syr Syracuse. Yes. I went to Lincoln is the capital of Nebraska. I went there, gosh, it has to be two years ago now. I, I, I hadn't been there for ages. I couldn't believe I lost my way in Lincoln. I'm going, whoa. <laughs> Hi, Debbie Epps. Welcome, welcome. We're just hanging out, fussy cutting and and uh, making scrapbook. And let's go back to Beth and see what she's up to. Oh, you doing ATC this, Beth? You doing a puppet ladder? What are you doing? Oh, you... Are you working in the Mermaid Journal? Oh, those are her beads. Yeah, I'm. I'm putting my bling on. She's putting bling on. <laughs> gotta have some. Gotta have some beach beach glass on there. <laughs> Very cool. Let's see. Well, how do I want to do this? Uh, 
I'll get tired of this fussy cutting. I won't get through this stack. I'll get tired of it any minute now. <laughs> I can only take so much, and I've got to move on to something else. I'm that way about everything. <laughs> you know, I don't get bored. It's not that it's boring. It's just that, oh, I have to do this, or I've got this other thing to do, or I should be working on that, you know? No, I get bored. <laughs> get bored. <laughs> It's exciting for just so long, and then okay, boring. Let's try something new. Yeah, yeah. I'm happiest when I multitask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. That's probably why I have a lot of unfinished projects. <laughs> I get distracted. You know, I get so distracted. There's so many neat things, you know, going on. And that's right. Oh. Some of these things I'm just going to have to come back to. Okay, now I got to go find my cutter. <laughs> I'm cut. The story of our life. <laughs> oh, well, we're watching Death String Beads. Somebody That's much more pleasant, pleasant than my rooster. <laughs> Your wind chimes are, are chiming. <laughs> that must be Rosemary's. Oh, is that Rosemary? Oh. Oh, that was, did you hear my chimes? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We like chimes. I thought it was Becky. Because she no, said it's more pleasant than my rooster, and I thought, oh, she changed her sound. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite all right. We don't mind the chimes. I have them in my house. Oh, Wendy says, my uncle used to be the editor of the Lincoln Star. Oh, I didn't. Cool, Wendy. That's interesting. The Lincoln Star was one of the main... <laughs> newspapers in Lincoln. <laughs> and I got such a giggle out of <laughs> our chat on Friday night because we were talking about um, what we were going to name our newspaper in Fibsville. And Lucia says, we're going to call it the Daily Fibber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, all right. Perfect name for us, the Daily Fibber. <laughs> Did you see the little dresses that uh, Lucia made her grandbabies? Yes, aren't they those so sweet? Cute. Oh. And I love the picture of Granddaddy with the grandbaby sleeping in the recliner too. That was I, I didn't see that one. Aw. Yeah, I should go up to Lincoln and Omaha. They've got a um, Dick Blick in Omaha. That's one of the reasons I don't go up there is because if I go up there, I've, I've got to, I'll spend a fortune, that, you know, on things I don't really need. But I want. Yeah. And Lincoln has the hay market area. I used to work down that way many, many, many years ago. I worked for, um, oh, it was a temporary job while I was in school. I worked for a company that sold hunting and fishing trips. Mm. And we had the, well, they wrote all these sales letters. And I ran this old electronic typewriter machine that had paper rolls. <laughs> Those were the days. Big old clunky thing that <laughs> clattered, but I got my I got my papers out. I got my letters out. That sounds like I worked for a forklift parts company, and I would have to look up parts on microfish. Yeah, you remember the microfish? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And what did you do there? I 
uh, looked up parts for factories that needed parts. They would call and I would find the part and order it for them and wow. then send it to them. Yeah. I've always done something with shipping and receiving kind of work. Uh huh. Somebody's got a storm. Me. That's what it sounded like here earlier. You can hear it? Oh, yeah. this is a thunder. Well, you've got good hearing, Becky. I didn't notice anything. I heard oh. it. Only because I got earphones on. If I oh. probably if I didn't have the earphones on, I'd have enough ambient noise around me. I wouldn't hear mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I don't have my earphones on. Well, no, this is best string beads. <laughs> I've got a case of, do I keep the cute baby squirrel or the awesome landscape? Uh, let's go look. Squirrel. Keep the squirrel? Yeah. Squirrel. 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 Got some lag time there, Becky. That's okay. Everybody's saying keep the cute baby squirrel. That's what Patty tell, 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 tell her, Polly Terry said when... Whenever she goes on a rabbit tray, she she says squirrel. Cheryl, <laughs> <laughs> hi Cheryl. Hey Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Barb is asking you, Beth, if have you finished the Mermaid Journal and have you done a flip? I I'm almost finished with it. I'm putting the last details on it, and then I will probably do a flip Tuesday. Before I mail it out, and I'm winding down on the on the uh, finishing touches. <laughs> I've still got a couple of more things to, that I want to do on it yet. She kind of flipped through it at the beginning here. I will. I'll do. A, I can do a little flip. Are you going to do that now? Do you want me to pop over? Whenever you're, let me tie that. Let me tie this knot. Okay, and well, I watch you tie flip. the knot, and then you just do the flip anytime you want. Uh, since Barb is asking about it, yeah, I'll I'll show it to you. And I've got uh, Barb sent me some mail, and she uh, she she probably wants to see if this little gold thing right here is in in the book in the book. This little gold thing right here, I got a little tail. See that little gold tail? <laughs> See, she sent me a, um, some tags to put in it. And uh, and yes, I do have your tag in it. <laughs> she uh, was kind enough to send me something mermaidish, nautical yeah. related. And I sent um, Janice's out, Janet's out this week, and she had a tag too from you. So, yes, your tags are. In other words, Beth is using all everything that you send. She's using. <laughs> yeah, I, I really have. Uh, everybody has sent me such a, a variety of things. So uh, um, I'll. Uh, oh, this is the book that I got some of those um, uh, nautical scenes out of ocean scenes, water scenes. And I found this book at the library or at the uh, secondhand store for 50 cents. So this came in handy for this book. I, I, I took some of the pictures out of it. And it's a really nice book. But, uh, but this is going to be for Lisa. I volunteered to, to make her a mermaid book. And it's more uh, nautical than than mermaid but there are some mermaids in it and i i uh, i made a mermaid doll and she's movable she has moving parts and i made a uh seahorse out of out of my felting that i uh i do And there are 12, uh, 12 months uh, out of the year in here, from January to December. So she can she can uh, put some cards in here for each of them each month if she oh, wants to. Nice. 
So I, I went ahead and put some nautical, every, everything I had that was nautical went in here. Uh, anything that had a boat or a sail or ocean scene uh, to keep to the theme. And then I did a lot of my, my hand, I have a lot of punches. And some more uh, birthday cards, uh, nautical cards. And uh, I've enjoyed doing it. And hopefully she'll be able to use it and it won't be all, sitting on the shelf to collect dust. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's my, that was my goal. And I think she will. I think she'll be able to use it. And here's some art things that she can have to use in her art. Little little few touches. Cute cards, funny cards. <laughs> cute. And um I had some, I had a lot of nautical stuff in my room, a lot of beachy stuff. When you start a project like that. If you're like me, you go, oh, I can do this, I can do this. And then all of a sudden you realize how much work it is. You put a lot of work into yeah. that. And this is my third book, my third try. I, oh, the wow. first couple of books that I, I did, I had an idea that I didn't, I was, I didn't think it all the way through. And they turned out to be too small of a book. And yeah. this time I got a thicker book. And... Because I, you know, I didn't realize I was going to be putting so much stuff in it, and uh, and I went through all my textbooks that I had gotten from the secondhand store and library and found any kind of poems, nautical poems, and I just really have I really been collecting for like three months, collecting things to put in here, and um, and every time I opened up another box in my craft room, I found some beachy something beachy and I said oh that'll go in the book that'll go in the book and I had my card table set up and it was full, full of <laughs> stuff. and then I didn't know where to start and it was I got real flustered and I I had a couple of art books that have this is I think out of a um, a Manant book Monet 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 book Mm -hmm. I went through it and took out took out all of the ocean pictures mm -hmm. <laughs> and just really had fun doing it. And I had some cards that I had made from a Stampin' Up group that I was in at one time, and I found a mermaid. And I had little found a little Zen book at the secondhand store, and it's a little tiny little book. And I don't I don't know what Zen really is other than meditation yoga type things but it had a beach and an ocean picture in it so it went in the book yep, I and found a map of her town and she lives right here <laughs> right down here is where she lives yeah <laughs> I cool. Googled. and she gave me some poems and I put them in here I think it's just a conglomeration like a junk journal book mm -hmm. and, uh, and people sent me some ribbons, and they've sent me some nautical things, and and I've incorporated uh, those. There's, this is one of my paintings that I've done out of my personal collection. I think it's <laughs> neat that people send things so that it's kind of a it's, it's kind a, of a yeah. turned into a group project type yeah, thing. Yeah, and I think I'll I'll write it. I'll write down uh, on one of the pages. I'm going to write down a list of all the people who have donated things in this book. Yeah, that's a good idea. So uh, Barb, Barb sent that tag, and she signed the back of it. So I know she'll get that. I know she'll she'll know who that came from. And um, and then if she if she looks close enough, she can see my name on there. So, uh, but I'll do a flip through and and uh, uh, a closer flip through later on. But it's just it's just uh, it's. It's just got a lot of me, a lot of me in there, but a lot of pictures that I have found in magazines. I found some old postcards at the library <laughs> that are nautical <laughs> with boats, and they're real old the postcards. This is HMS Bounty, massive bow. I'm sure it's a replica of it in down in Florida somewhere. So. She, I've got postcards in here, and I think I found I've got some stamps, and we'll put some book of stamps in there. And it's it's going to be fun. And I found some magazine clippings out of scrapbook paper, scrapbook magazines 
that was beach themed and uh, napkins, you name it, it's in here. <laughs> wow. And, and uh, I've just, uh, you know, just a lot of little, little details and uh, little cards that I have collected out of my stash and that are beach themed. And uh, she can cut them up, reuse them, or put them in her art, or send them out, whatever she wants to do. And uh, I had fun doing it. And that's it. And then uh, she sent me a, an ACT card by L.A. Richard. And that's got to be one of our fibs. She is. I don't know. Okay. Well, she sent, she sent this. ACT card to Lisa and Lisa sent it to me to put in her book because I told her whatever you want in your book I'll I'll send it to me so she sent it to me and then I turned around and I made some of my cards very similar to hers she inspired me so I made some summer cards up to put in Lisa's book too so there's a little bit of everything in here. Well, you guys, guess what? What? We're going to have a giveaway. Uh -oh. Woo! <laughs> I had to get it out. Yeah. Are you all I'm ready dead. for it? I'm my dead. mom, mom you're welcome to play. You guys, in the, Beth, Becky, and Rosemary, you're welcome to play, too, because you're the guest. <laughs> and the mods are welcome to play. We've got 47 people in here. Well, I thought it would be great to have a giveaway. Uh, but I, I'll need help, because you know how I am. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, miss a lot. I miss a lot. So uh, I'm alerting the mods to be on the alert for Mary mistakes. <laughs> But what we're going to give away is this package came from Jerry Bellini. Change and, your, uh, change your is, screen, Mary. Pardon me? Oh. Change your screen. Thank you. This package came from Jerry Bellini, and we were going to do that transparent book. And we got off onto other things, and uh, she sent this kit. And uh, it's the entire kit that Jerry has. I don't know if she still has it on her Etsy. I haven't been out there. But I thought it would be fun to give this away in the... Because it's a nice kit. She priced them at about $18, I think. So I'm going to open it up so you can see what's in it. Uh, I haven't opened it, as you can tell. I guess I'll open it at the top of it. Oh, can I open it? It's in a nice Tyvek envelope here but I thought it would be fun to share this in the in the hangout this afternoon well how fun so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go through it here and then we're gonna have a giveaway so there's quite a bit in here she really she packed it in so and there's a package within another package she sent some transparent items here for for you can put like um, um, papers or photos or whatever they're little transparent pockets there's some plastic bags here that say the spark this is sparkling clean drinking glass there's some sheets of, of uh, semi-transparent like well, translucent. You can kind of see through this if you hold it up to the light. This is like a, a really light brown paper, but it is it is translucent. You can you can see through it. Some dictionary pages here, thin paper. Never de desert your own line of talent. There's some pages here that just could be used as background pages. There's a calendar page here. Ooh, those are, there's a rug designs on here. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, she priced it at nineteen ninety five. She's got nineteen ninety five on there. There's a pocket here, a glassine pocket with uh, something in it. Oh, a, a a page, a transparent report cover page. Oh, it's a it's a negative. It's a negative. I guess if you look at it this way, no, it's a. Uh, Briar's, what is it? Oh, Briar top, Toppings. It's a negative. And she's got it in a, a glassine bag. <laughs> so even if you don't do a transparent journal, these things in here would be nice to put in your art journals or use them, you know, just use them in your other art projects. She sent some photo sleeves here. Um, this is a white one, a couple white ones, and then some report cover type things and some photo sleeves. There's one, two, three of those, and then there's kind of a hard cover one. That would make a good good covers. And another pocket one. And that's just my page. So that's the loose stuff. Then she's got some in a bag here. She's got quite a few things in the bag. Let's see. Let's just put that in there. Um, she's got one of these folder holders up at the top. You put them through the folder and bend them. It holds paper. And then... There's one of these, which I think are really, well, actually there are four of them. There are four of them. They're letterpress type things that they used to put on envelopes and it's got the address up here. And then the, it's kind of like a, it went into like a printing press. So this, this raised area here would actually print that address. So there's four of those. Oh, there's it's all sorts of stuff in here. There's slides. There's a glass button or a translucent button. Uh, looks like a, a bracket that would go on a box that you would slip, you know, your two brads would go in there and then you would slip whatever you, your information in there or whatever you wanted. There's a slide. There's, you put some some uh, little art pieces and postage stamps in there. Some wallpaper pieces, I think they are. And a little, a little baggie, some tabs, another little baggie. This looks like a portion of a ruler. That's interesting. That's transparent. More slides of stamps, tabs, label oh there's more in here let's pull it all out there's some more trend i'm not going to let these buttons out i'll just show them to you in the bag there's some buttons in there a label here's a i'm not sure what to call that she, she accumulates these bits and pieces and there's some buttons and beads and type things there another little file folder holder this looks like a i'm not sure it's a lens of some sort wow that's a big bifocal lens i don't know if you can tell but the bifocal part is right here it's a big old round one who would wear those maybe it was in a laboratory or something that's a big old round one wow another little file folder or um holder thing on it. it looks like a brads that would fit onto like a, a drawer or a box and then you put your information behind it so there's a lot in here a lot that even if you don't do a transparent journal you could use it in other art there's more buttons here i get that kind of fell out um there's a lot of goodies in here that you could use in your art journaling and i thought it would be fun to give this away in the hangout today all right 
Uh, I don't know if Jerry still has them on sale in her shop or not, but this is what the, what was in the ones that she sent. So there we go. So the way we'll do it, we've got 48 people in here. So, Maz, I'm going to need your help. And for those of you that are chatting, um, don't chat while we're scrolling the numbers because... If there's a lot of chat going on, the numbers fly by and um, lose track of them. So once we say go, don't don't say anything until we say stop. And the person that is closest, I'm going to do a random.org, and the person that's closest to the number without going over, the first person, uh, if you happen to notice only one number, but if you happen to notice that you have the same number as somebody else, go ahead and put in another number, but just say uh, replace or something like that so we know that you're replacing a, a duplicate number. So uh, I need to get out to random.org. Let me get out there. I don't, I think I, I used to just keep it in my, in my history, but I, enough that, <laughs> that okay let's see i'm getting there random order paid service free services free services i go to the sequence number one uh, let's give me a minute to get there <sighs> takes me a while to find the sequence number generator right there so we're going to do between, there's, um, let me look again. There's 49 in here. We're going to do a number between 1 and 100. So I'm going to type in, when I type, when I type in go, then you can, you can, uh, you can start scrolling the numbers. So here goes. We're going to give you plenty of time. I see a couple of you, a couple of you replace numbers. Carly had a replace and Diana Warner had a replace. Are we done? I'm going to count down from from 10. So if you haven't put in a number, get it in there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, oh, you know what? <laughs> I have to go to random.org, so we're stopping <laughs> at 4. <laughs> I, I guess I have to stop the numbers, right? And then go. I haven't done this for a long time. So stop the numbers. Four, three, two, one. All right. Stop. No numbers after that point. It's been a while since I've done a contest. I have to tell you. Okay. So I'm going to put in the number between one and a hundred. And I know you guys can't see it for the glare, but it is there. One and a hundred. And uh, format in one column and get sequence. And the top number is 70. So whoever's closest to the number of 70 without going over will win it. Oh, Tony okay. Campbell had 69. Who did? Tony Campbell had 69. Tony Campbell? 
Anybody got spot on? Is I think that's probably pretty spot on, don't you think? Tony. Tony, Tony. Tony, I know I do not have your address. I'll need your mailing address. Uh, I have contact information in the... Um, I have mailing information in my description box below. I would prefer that you would email me uh, my address. Let me type it in here because I don't mind it being in here. Email me there, Tony. And uh, I would prefer that because sometimes your, your names get lost in my messenger. I guess, you know, people friend me and message me and I get so much. I haven't seen Tony respond. Are you here, Tony? I see everybody saying congrats. She's there. I see her oh, say, oh, my God. Yeah, I see it now. All right, Tony, be sure to email me. Email me your address. I want to get a mailing out um, this week. I've been working hard to get my things done. So we'll, we'll mail this on to you. If I get your email address <laughs> and try to do it, don't hold off. Try to do it in the next two days um, so that I can get it out. Uh, sometimes I have I have had contests and I, I uh, don't get the address right away. And I don't like to track people down and all of that. So there we go. That was fun. All right. Let's find out what's going on in... The world out here. Let's go look at this black and white journal that Rosemary's working on. Holy moly. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> no more holy cows. It's holy moly. No, holy moly. <laughs> <sighs> well, I've got um, most, well, I've got the stuff that I've already accumulated, my black and white. I've got them all cut up. I've got piles of five because I'm doing five different journals. So that's where I'm at right now. And then I'm just separating the papers so that it's halfway even. <laughs> halfway even. And uh, and that's it. I think I might have to go to a different project. So I'm starting to get bored with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my fingers are getting sore. <laughs> I'm getting bored with black and white, black and white, black and white. I got to go bring some color. Do something else. As soon as I finish, yeah, as soon as I finish this right here, we're going to move on. I was gifted some, um, 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 what do you call it? <laughs> Alcohol ink, because I didn't have cool. any. Cool. And somebody sent me some beautiful colors. So maybe I'll play with that. Cool. Yeah, aren't people generous? I'll tell they you. are. The, the gals that and the happy meal I've gotten, it's just blown me away. How generous. Sharon Lombard just sent me a whole bunch of, of things. And, and then I got another box that I opened. Uh, and Becky, <laughs> Becky can send me stuff. Becky's going to get a box for me. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I just, I'm amazed at how, and so very grateful to all of you that have sent happy mail. I mean, you know, mailing costs. Whoa, gone up. Let's see what Becky's gone. She's oh, she's still doing fussy cutting, aren't you? Ooh, look at those fussy cuts. Yeah, some of these I've done. I just need to get them separated so I can find them. They've just been in the pile. I love her. She's cool. She needs a page just for herself. <laughs> yeah, some of those gals do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. Craft a lanch. I heard something fall. I'm not sure what. I'm, I'm afraid to look. <laughs> Craft a lanch. <laughs> I'm afraid to look. Oh, it was one of my books. No problem. <laughs> It'll survive. I'm not cutting anymore, but I'm going to put some of this stuff into its own painter. 
into its own world, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm still working on uh, the tags. I'm going to paint the gold on the back of them. And I'm going to staple the cards to them so I can get these sent out. But I think I'm going to have to do a quick trip to the Dollar Tree and get me some 6 by 9 envelopes. Because I don't think that the business envelopes will... Uh, you know, I buy the cheap ones and these tags have that tag tie on them with the cloth tags and it has mm -hmm. the color and all that. And I, I don't trust the cheap envelopes. So I need to go get me some... <sighs> some serious envelopes, huh? Yeah, some serious ones. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the word for it. Serious envelopes. Let's see what Beth is up to. Oh, I'm just tying another knot. <laughs> an exciting stuff in this hangout, let me tell you. <laughs> Riveting. Yeah. <laughs> it must be new people there. It can't be the same ones or else they're taking a nap with us. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mitzi just came in. Hi, Mitzi. And I don't, I've got like a, a, this tub is people, and then I've got miscellaneous backgrounds and watches and things, and then I got an animals and, and animals. birds. And that's the extent of my division of stuff. <laughs> and it's not enough. So I got to come up with something else. Maybe one of those accordion file monthly things, but instead of months, do like uh, animals and flowers have you used those before for your fussy cuts aunt beck what the, the pretty and vile ones i haven't but i'm well, thinking i still end up having to put them in a bag or they'll all fall in that hole that's at that's the bottom. what i was going to tell you there's a you know the bottom of the accordions i'm finding that in that black one that i have i kind of have quit putting things in it because they slip from one accordion holder to the other one and they fall down and get caught so either that or somehow close up the bottom between the you know what i'm talking about yeah i do where the gusset is at the bottom yes all right well i think i'm gonna clear coat i found some elephants for barb Philion. oh she'll I'll like do. that yeah i'm I try to send her those. I can remember to do it. This stuff's probably dry, so I can clear coat a couple more pages. Well, I got Barb's um, envelope, Elephant Snow Globe. Finally got it scanned. So I'll be sending her that. She likes elephants. Yes, she does. She likes elephants. Oh, oh, somebody... Beth's oh, showing her Beth. charms. Who's talking? Is that you, Becky? That's me, but Beth's showing her charms. Oh, okay. Oh, those are pretty. Did you just make those, Beth, just now? Yeah, I just strung them on. I left the tassels in the book. I sewed my book up and left long tassels. And um, and then I added the beads to them out of my bead box here. Cool. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm just a little bit of a beadaholic. You're a beadaholic? Yeah, I'm a beadaholic. <laughs> I never quite it, it, but I like beads, but I'm not a I'm not yeah. a beadaholic. Yeah. I've got tons of beads. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing though. Yes, it is. There could be other kind of holics that you could be than oh, a bead. Oh yes. <laughs> no, I I'm set for life with my beads. I don't have to buy any more beads. I'm out of the buying stage. Now I'm into the Let's use them and get them, get them out of here. Use them up. <laughs> and that's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yep. Joe's in the house. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Joe's home. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hi, Mary. 
<laughs> we uh, hear you've been busy working for other people, getting things done for other people. I ain't done nothing but cater to everybody and watch you on TV. Well, it's <laughs> Sunday. You need a day of rest. <laughs> that was supposed to be the day. <laughs> it didn't happen today. But the good it didn't Lord, happen today. Huh? He what did you do that. today? He worked today. What did you do today, oh, Joe? Oh gosh. Well, we, we put, put a roof on. Put a oh. tin roof on a pergola. Or what? It's a it's a little bungalow out by the pool. It's not our pool, but it, our friend's pools. She they had this little four pole Six shelter eight. that with you know it has ceiling fans in it, and it's for the sit by the veranda. You know, sit they, by the pool. They didn't have a roof on it. So now it's a it's a uh, it's a room, huh? It, it's well, no, it's they call it a um, what's down by the beat by the river, the pavilion. It's a pavilion now. It's got a roof. Pavilion, wow! But it's in their backyard. But it's in their backyard. Yeah. Very cool. It's got lawn furniture underneath it, and it's actually it's out by the road. You, you have, have a pool, don't you, Beth? You guys yeah. have a pool? Yes. Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna build mine next. He's no. going to do the pavilion <laughs> for you? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> In my dream. No, we got, I got another list for him to do. He, I bought yeah. two new wardrobes to put in my craft room for storage. Oh. He's, he's putting them together in the living room as we speak, but he had to stop oh. and help our friends. Because oh. he's only off on the weekend. He's got to go back out in the truck tomorrow. So tonight. tonight. So Joe had to go help our friends. Yeah, he's a he's a big truck driver and runs three trucks and company and wow. He, you know. he didn't have but the weekends to work on it. So Joe's been a big help. Wow. So tell me about these wardrobes that you have for your craft room. Well, they're they're just a regular size wardrobes from Lowe's. They match my kitchen cabinets that I have installed in this spare bedroom. And I have a countertop, a corner unit countertop that's low enough for a stool, you know, to sit at at a desk. I got two little desk areas. Well, he, we found the cabinets that match these wow. kitchen cabinets. And they're just regular Lowe's white wardrobe cabinets but i'm not going to put the hangers in them i'm going to use them for storage cool. and uh, i had a couch in here so we took the couch out and that's where the wardrobes are going to go very cool and and i'm going to i'm going to work on my closet my closet is full from the floor to the ceiling <laughs> and i want everything out of there so that i can get to it and use it just your clothes. I understand. There's no clothes. There's absolutely no clothes in this closet. Hey, Mary, you know how to tell the difference. <laughs> you don't have to yell. Between a crowded room and a and a room that's not so crowded. One has a lot of boxes in it, and one doesn't. No, the difference is that the one that's real crowded that's got the books standing straight up and down. The one that's not so crowded, they're laying flat. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going, I'm working on my room this, it'll be a month before I get it fixed up. But when I do, I'll give you a, a virtual tour. <laughs> well, Joe, I have all sorts of books and I keep bringing them home from the library or from Goodwill. And so I take the ones that I don't think I'm going to use upstairs. So then I have more space down here. So I bring home more books. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that how it goes? <laughs> That's yeah. the way it works. That's what I do too. <laughs> well, I don't have room for it. I stick out in the garage and now the garage is overflowing. <laughs> but it's all good. Then well, on, the way, on the way home, I got stopped. The guy asked me, he says, you know when the garbage day is over here? And he's not in my, he's in the city and I'm in, a, I'm in the county. I said, no, not really. And he says, I need to get rid of all this stuff. He said, I'm trying to find somebody to haul it away for me. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> he says, look, he says, I got all this aluminum. These he took out all of his aluminum windows out of his uh, back porch and all, and had I guess he had it all done, redone. And he says, I've got it all ready for for you to take and make some money off the aluminum. He didn't even know me. 
<laughs> he just tried, wanted to get rid of it. Him and his wife just bought the house, and it, it, they're cleaning all the junk out. And uh, he says, you know anybody who cuts grass and, and weed eats and all that? And I went, yeah. I said, I got a little young man over in my street that does that. So I got the neighbor, uh, Jacob, hooked up, give him the number, but he's not going to be able to do it tomorrow. Well, couldn't he give those aluminum windows to like Habitat for Humanity or something like that? Isn't that what they do with their... He just wanted to get rid of them real quick. He's, get... He just wanted to get rid of them before Wednesday. All he has to do is leave them on the curb. Somebody will exactly. pick them up. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say because it wouldn't last 10 seconds down in Casey. They'd yeah. be gone. Yeah. The bad part is we put one out and somebody came and took it, but what they did is they busted it, all, all oh. the glass out in our yard. Oh, oh. no. So I, we had to clean all that glass up. Yeah. That was rude. That was rude. Yes. He's probably, I'd say he's probably got with that, that's clean aluminum. And if I was to take all the glass out, it'd be worth, or it'd be $50 worth of, of uh, easy. Yeah. Uh, because it's some, some heavy windows and stuff. But I've got heavy windows out there now just waiting for somebody to do something with them. We got enough junk. Yeah. We got too much. We have a, the city here has a spring cleanup day where you can put stuff out, but they only do it once a year. Yeah. You can't take, you can't take like furniture and stuff to the dump. They yeah, only we, let you take yard We have that here too. I think it's once a month, isn't it? I think it's once a month down yeah, here. Or you can call them a special pickup. Once Here's a month? That. Wow, that's good. Ours is only once a year. Well, no, that's 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 a different thing she's talking about. They do, they do have a special pickup. We 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 have a Friday is our garbage pickup, and then um, Monday is our refuge. Uh, yeah, our refuge, uh, which, which is, is so, really we had a lot of rubbish. Rubbish down here. Yard rubbish, and they'll take trees. Yeah. And they'll take a big tree if you cut it all up. By rubbish, do you mean ved, uh, vegetation, vegetation rubbish? Yeah. yeah, we got a lot of palm trees and rubbish. Yeah, palm fronds, yeah. anything like that. Now, they, the city will come by after a big storm here. Our, our, I can't even call it a city. The town will. After a big storm, if we pull the branches out to the curb, they'll come by and pick it up for us. Yeah. Right? That's nice, but... Anything like old furniture or old lawn mowers or just junky stuff, but it's only picked up once a year. Yeah. Are you using that gold there? Your gold? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm using um Art Elegant Finish. Oh. Glorious gold. Yeah, I said you use it last the other night when you I watched. He watches you, Mary. He watches you. The other night I was putting my fingers in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was watching. You you taking do the little finger around your little uh, edges, edges around the edge. I'm using the brush tonight because I noticed as I was doing the finger stuff, it was getting off on the red flower, and uh, I didn't want gold on the back of my red flower. <laughs> gold flakes. Yeah, I'll tell you, gold is gold is my go-to color. Mm. Let's go see what Rosemary's doing in her black and white journal. Well, no, see. no, I've moved on. Okay, oh, you moved on? on. What are, you doing? are you joking? I told you I was doing it. Ooh, Look at that. Hey. Rosemary's jelly printing on us. I don't <laughs> fool around. I get bored. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so. No boredom in Rosemary's house. Nope. Moving on. Well, Moving show us what you've done uh, so far. I haven't done anything. I just got everything out. Oh, you just got everything out. Well, so we get to watch your jelly print. So now I'm going it's too hot to... here to do any jelly printing. It just dries on my plate before I get it. In a oh. Well, I have air conditioning, so. Yeah, that's what I need. You have air conditioning in your studio? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Even heat. <laughs> Man, heat. Wow. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm happening, you know. 
<laughs> well, I have a, a fan blowing, but it doesn't, you know, it blows the papers around. And mm -hmm. if I do jelly printing, I think I'll have. Now, I can do um, paint. My paint dries pretty fast. Mm -hmm. But uh, the jelly printing might have to wait till winter. So you don't have air conditioning at all or it's just not there's a, a window one in the living room oh. it's not on it's too cool here <laughs> that's okay. as much as i'm going to say <laughs> i have to have air blowing i don't have the fan on it is pretty cool here today it's been rainy and cool all week here well it's been rainy and hot here so hot oh yeah, it's been in the 80s and 90s and raining wow. all day long. So, yeah. has it yeah. been muggy? Oh, yeah. Well, it's 90 degrees with rain. You know? <laughs> That's muggy. You might as well be in a sauna. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't like those days. I forget if it was yesterday or the day before with the heat index, it was 104. Ugh. Yeah. So, there's no way I'm not having air conditioning. So, yeah, I like the South, but not that much. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys put up with a lot down there. I need to get out and weed my garden. That rain has made it grow fast. We're supposed to have nice weather next week, so I'm going to be out there pulling weeds, pulling trees. We have a <laughs> helicopter. And I think it was Giovanna who messaged me and said that, or she left a comment and said those helicopter seeds that flew in our garden were maple, red maple. And they're growing up all over the yard. They're oh, the no. I'm pulling trees out of my petunias. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going... Wait a minute. Can't you just go find a spot in the ground? Now you have to fall in my planter. <laughs> <laughs> and I planted Aunt Bex uh, sent me a hydrangea plant, Rosemary. Ooh. She heard us chatting. And she, she said, I didn't know it was her. I got this unmarked box, unaddressed box. And she said in one of the chats, she said, Mary, did you go to the post office today? And I thought she meant, did I mail my happy mail yet? <laughs> 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 I said, no, not yet. I haven't mailed anything yet. And she said, no, I mean, did you go pick up your mail? You better <laughs> open it now. Don't wait. Yeah, that's yeah. what she said. It might need a drink. And I'm going, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> it was that's a hydrangea plant. Oh. So I planted it on the, on the, um, it's planted on the east side of the house where we have our hostas right beneath the porch area. Yeah, it only likes the morning sun. Yeah, so I think that was the right place for it. So now I can't wait to watch it grow. Fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to get bloom so that I can do some echo dye. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's your fault, Rosemary. I just did a whole bunch, was it Yesterday, the day before yesterday, with uh, hydrangeas? huh? With hydrangeas? No. Uh, well, I did. Uh, I used some of the hydrangea leaves, not the flowers. Oh, okay. Because the flowers don't really do all that much, to tell you the truth. Oh, they, it's they act more like a resist. They really don't. They don't transfer the print at all. It's like a resist. But okay. the leaves, the leaves print really well. Really? Yeah. Well, you know what we have in our yard are all these little violets and clovers. Mm -hmm. How do they work? Well, you know, you have different, quote unquote, weeds than we do. So you just have to practice. You just got to practice. That's what I tell everybody because, <laughs> you know, everybody has different plants in different regions of the country. I mean, there's obviously some that are similar. But like the natural weeds that just pop up, those are all regional. So... Yeah, I probably don't have the same weeds that you do. Not okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they're kind of pretty. They look mm -hmm. like. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Tippy just tore through the room. Apparently, he wants to go out. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to me. <laughs> Let me out. Aw. 
well, they look like clover. They and I'm going. Uh -huh. I wonder if I can find any for because four leaf ones. You know, they look like the little coffee leaver. Four leaf clovers. Yeah. And then the violets. We've got all sorts of little violets in the yard. Well, what I tell everybody, and I'm going to tell you because it's oh, the only no. way to do it, all is right. you have to do it yourself and find out if it works and start a journal so that you have, um, you can remember because you're going to think you're going to remember, but you're not going to. Okay. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> you can either like you draw so well, you know, you could draw a little picture and then you could put down yes, no, <laughs> it works, it doesn't work, or you can put down it prints, or you can put down it doesn't print, but it, you know, does the um, uh, resist, you know, whatever and ends up happening. Things. Yeah. Um, that's what you put down. That way you can have like I call it a. Um, a recipe book that I have for my eco printing. So, and so it's like my reference book. I like the idea of, a, of doing a journal. Yeah. And I then like each, each bundle that you do, you know, in your journal, you could put one of those pieces in there as a reference and say, okay, this was this okay. plant, put down what time of the year it was because your plants will print differently depending on the time of the year because they have different nutrients and their composition are different throughout the year. So mm -hmm. if you wow. print with something in the spring, it may not print the same in the fall and vice versa. So it's kind of fun. Once you get into it, it's very addictive. If you take it kind of seriously, you just get all excited and, you know, you kind of get kind of crazy like I did. So. Well, it doesn't take much to get me inspired. I've been wanting to do some echo dyeing for a long time. Yeah, it, it's fun. Ooh, I like how this one came out. Cool. That one didn't pick up too well. This is the one on the top to clean it off. But I like how that one looks. That I like cool. it, yeah. Are those, are those leaves? Did I didn't see you put anything down there. Were they leaves? They, no, they're stencils. Oh, they're stencils. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was painting my edges here. <laughs> it's these stencils right here. It's raining too hard to go get my leaves right now. Oh, oh, those are cool. Those look like uh, sea seaside shells. Yeah, it's supposed to be shells. And are you using ink? You are. You use ink. Yeah. Leaves. Yeah. Oh, cool! And that ink doesn't that that ink doesn't flop through the stencil. It doesn't what? Slop through it underneath of it. Yeah, that's what I want it to do. Oh, yeah, that's what makes a pretty cool design. Well, I meant you know what I meant when you do stenciling and you get. No, I know what you mean. It goes underneath because it is wet, but that's what gives it kind of its watery kind of look to it. Okay. I like the look. Some people may not like it because it's not a crisp. You know, oh, I like crisp. everything you do, Rosemary. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious as to if, if that if it ran is, underneath. You clean it up. That's Ooh. that print. You just pick that up first. Then what I do is I pick this up because, like you say, it's squished underneath, so then I can put that on another piece of paper. And sometimes, you know, it'll print on that paper too, which that one did a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Try not to waste anything. And then I pick this yeah. one up, and I'll do the same thing on a blank piece of paper. Very cool. And then, you've got and then that transfers a little bit there too. So it's... It'll be cool for collage, you know. It's not a yeah. It's nothing spectacular, but you know, it's something oh, to like work it. with. I think it's pretty. So now this one, I let this one dry a little bit, let all the alcohol evaporate and dry, and then you put some. I've been putting just white. I'll try a different color paint on top of it, and then pull it, and it looks pretty cool. Very cool. Oh. 
might be dry. Let's try a different color. Let's try something bright like a yellow, a bright yellow. See what happens. You're talking about mosquitoes in the chat. Ooh, and we have mosquitoes. And tarantulas too. and scorpions and <laughs> millipedes. <laughs> yep, I've had those. No fun. I've got to see this happen here, this yellow one. With the yellow me, one. You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, Mary. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you and me both, Mary. But if you don't like what you say, if you don't uh, experiment with it, how are you going to learn? So exactly. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's also part of the fun is the playing part. That's yes. right. Yes. It looks like Aunt Beck is stenciling. We're going to go to her after Rosemary pulls this. <laughs> Okay, now this one didn't pull any. Last time I did this, the first one didn't pull anything, and then the second one does. So let's yeah. see. Let's the, see what happens. Let's do yeah. the second pull. It looks juicy on your plate yet, though. I mean, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, but, but what I ended up having to do was put more paint, but really? I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I'm not, let's see what happens. Let's just smoosh this around and not put any more paint. And see what happens. I finally got one of those little brayers at Hobby Lobby. Oh, fantastic. That you, I've never had one. I'm going to get, it was on sale, so I grabbed it. I think Aunt Beck grabbed one, too. Yeah, I got a small one. The little one. Oh, it's pulling something. Yeah, but it's not pulling Ooh. the print. How weird. Oh, I'm going to do one more. <laughs> I pulled on it, though. It pulled. Maybe not everything, but it pulled some. I could see some on it. All right, we're gonna watch you. We're gonna watch you coax it off of the plate. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Come on. <laughs> pretty please. Obviously, the ink does not come up the same way the paint does. <laughs> I mean, it comes up, but it needs a lot of coaxing. I can see. Well, mine would dry on the plate today. There would be no coaxing. <laughs> well, some came up and some didn't. But what did come up is pretty texture. cool. Yes, I love the texture. I like those colors. Like I say, it'll be really good for um, collaging or put it in, you know, uh, pages in your junk journal. Yes. To glue on to and stuff like that. Yes. So, not a total loss. Not Very what I nice. wanted. Very nice. Let's go see what happens. Move Beth along. Move along. <laughs> oh, Aunt Beth is penciling envelopes. Look at her go. Well, these are actually uh, sheets of paper that oh. I jelly plated. Oh like some roll offs and some stuff that didn't pick anything up. So I said, I'll just sit and stencil. As you layer enough stencils, you get it covered with something. Mm hmm Cool. Scott's out there. He's out. He said he was going to take it easy this weekend. So he's redoing the steps onto the porch instead. <laughs> Sounds like Beth's Joe. Yeah, he can't be still. No, he he just can't. can't. Got to be working. Yeah. Oh, that's good for him. Well, he says he feels trifling when he doesn't do something. <laughs> Keeps you young. Speaking yeah. of Beth's Joe, that's that's our uh, that's my handle on a lot of my email stuff. Oh, really? Beth That's Joe awesome. with Beth with an S and yeah. it's progressive Beth Joe without the apostrophe in and it's 
that way in our email and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that, I went, oh, that's my handle. <laughs> And these are the stencils I got at that All About Fabrics that I went to that sale because they only open to the public um, one, one weekend a month. Yeah. So, and they got craft stuff plus the fabrics and they got um, home decor and all kinds of stuff. Have Ooh. you ever stenciled with, um, in art, with paint, with quilt stencils? Have you ever done that? Uh, I haven't. I just wondered because I have a couple quilt stencils, but I'm going, I wonder how it would work because, you know, they're mostly, they're for quilting, you know, yeah. and so they're mostly lines. Just well, I think I'll get the stapler out and I'll get the cards. It's hiding in here someplace. What did I do with them? I remember here. Why is it every time I, oh, there they are. <laughs> I was going to start cussing these out for. Uh oh. There she I goes think. again. I should have shook that pink paint a little bit more. I think it separated. That's all right. Not to get out. We should do it this way. Okay. Very pretty, Becky. Thank you. There's some of my leaves I printed last time off the gum tree. The oh, gum that tree. was nice. That's where I just picked the leaf up off the jelly plate and then laid it down over here and it made designs like that. Those print, um, eco print, beautiful. I hate those gumballs, things. though. Oh, I hate those things. I figured I didn't out the know what they were until you did a video of them. Yeah. The best way to clean them up is rake them in a pile and get you a snow shovel. And trying <laughs> to find a snow shovel in the south, that's a that took me a while. <laughs> but I finally got me one. Scott's like, what are you gonna do with that snow shovel? Shovel gumballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, I was thinking I'd staple these cards to the back. So I'm going to think I'm going to staple underneath of the flower. That's thinking. Somebody's thinking. Beth, what are you up to? I'm going to put some Mod Podge on this back of the book so it'll make it nice and slick and pretty. Ooh. You'll have that all ready to send to her. Yeah, it'll be ready by next week. I'll, I'll probably um, do a flip through Tuesday night when I come on and then I'll be, it'll go out in the Wednesday mail. Now, yeah. I, I will tell you you know, this will probably go in one of those boxes if it fits, it ships. Uh -huh. And it's about $8 to send. But if I would wrap, put it in a, a, a cracker box and wrap it in brown paper myself, it'll go cheaper. Yeah. As long as it weighs under uh, a pound, it will go cheaper than if it fits, it ships. And I know a lot of times people use those boxes and they're a flat rate box. But if you would just take the time to wrap it yourself, you'd probably save yourself 50% on the, on the mailing. Just to FYI. Save you some money. 
It, it works. I do it all the time. Well, I'm not sure. We'll see about the stapling thing. I keep putting them the wrong way. I don't want them that way. At Becca's Brayery. <laughs> Filling up space. I didn't get anything on it before. <laughs> Wrong way. Here. Bernadette out in the yard too in her playpen that I forgot she got sick in it yesterday so it needs to be moved. She got sick in it? Yeah she I don't know what was going on with her but she's all right today. Huh. Oh Journey's in the house. Did she get overheated maybe? No, I, her, I left her food out there while we were gone, and then when we came back, I put her out there, and she ate on it, and I, then I noticed there was fire ants in it, and I think the fire ants oh. got in her belly and made her sick, because she ate a whole bunch of grass and then heaved. Oh, my gosh. I've got to move her, her play pad, her little play yard. I wish I had just a regular square yard with nothing in it that she, I could just put her in so she could be outside like she was down at the house, but I can't do that here because this is not, you know, it's not our property. We just stay here. <laughs> but hopefully that'll change before the end of the year. Rosemary, you're in the spotlight again. Uh oh. Pull prints. <laughs> I like to bop around on you. Oh, I'm just cleaning this one up right now. I'm just stapling card the back one earlier. These are all pretty bright, let me tell you. Ooh, that's pretty, that gold one. Oh, look at that. Just a little bright. <laughs> Just a little bit on the bright side. Boy, I'm really lagging. I must be 10 minutes behind. I mean, 10 seconds behind, 15 seconds behind. I'm still watching you go through the prints. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on YouTube, I'm I, I'm looking at both. I'm way behind too. So. Yeah, there's way. a lot of time, guys. So if if the voice isn't matching the picture, you know why. Oops, and I keep stapling it the wrong way. the staple to go here. Well, I should get my tags done tonight. I won't go to bed until I do. Uh -oh. <laughs> I got it. You gonna pull another all nighter, Mary? <laughs> no, uh, I hope to have them done before that. I'm gonna She's, stream tomorrow morning, though. So. Oh my goodness! She's so adventurous. I don't know where she gets her energy. <laughs> it's it's because I'm way behind on everything. Still. <laughs> yeah, I overcommit, Rosemary. I overcommit. That's why I don't commit at all. <laughs> You're I probably don't. smart. I've I don't because, because people say, oh, when do you stream? I said, whenever I feel like it. Yeah. Oh, don't you join swaps? Rarely. 
I, I coordinate them in my group, but I rarely join a swap. Why? Because I don't want the pressure. <laughs> yeah. The I I want to get so that I can join swaps again though, because there's some good ones going on. But I just I feel horrible not having my mail my things that I've committed to mailed and then joining more. Right. Now these tags, these tags just happened. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they just happened because of the dirty dozen and the Fourth of July, and, and oh god! But I'm going to do a mailing, and I thought, well, I can just tuck them in with the rest of it, you know. So, yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> but I, the thing of it is, it's not for a swap or anything. So I want to get, and I keep saying, and I'm going to get a big mailing out next week. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I want to get caught up so that I can, can join some more swaps. And people send me such nice things, and I feel so guilty that <laughs> I have a major guilt complex. Well, um, you know what I have to say about that? Get up. Get over it. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. I have a problem with getting over it, too. <laughs> you might have to have to coach me of how to get over it. <laughs> yeah. No, these are just a joy to do, though. I've had so much fun doing these. They really have turned out these dirty dozen tags they, they're they're really uh they're fun to do i'm enjoying mm. them except for now i'm stapling oh i think barb likes my peacock stamp oh love that stamp she says i think barb and i like the same stuff because i love peacock anything i like elephant anything those are my favorite things. I don't know about that. I guess I'm just going to leave it. I'm trying I, to get this to dry so I can do another pickup on this. I think I'm going to start gluing these. Pull out my staples. I don't like the staple thing showing. Uh, I'm afraid the glue isn't going to hold it. And I know the double-sided tape won't. I think I'll just use tech. You better go over to you uh, because they're literally watching paint dry over here. <laughs> We're going over to Beth. We'll watch Beth. Okay. Well, Beth, uh, uh, Becky. I'm on Becky. I'm looking to see if this is a real needle. I cannot see the hole. If there is a needle, a hole. Uh -oh. <laughs> if it's that bad, I might as well just put it back. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, looking for a needle in a haystack. Ah, goodness. I think that's a needle. Becky looks like she's reading email stuff. Let's see. Oh, you're doing kitty cats. I'm yeah. uh, finishing up my kitty tap tag book. Yes, I'm working. Oh. We did the last uh, 26 kitty cats, which is the alphabet. And that's uh, what we did uh, Saturday night? We did the last tag last night. Yep. Oh, last. Oh, this, was the, this was the last tag. Look. He's a painter. <laughs> oh, that is so adorable. So, yeah, we did the cat tags. And he has a paintbrush and an easel. And and he he's an artist. He He's from Paris. Oh, is he related to like Pepe Le Pew or something? Uh, I think they're just neighbors. Like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm working on the book, final, trying to do a little last minute details on the book. And then now we're going to do pet our household pets. Household pets? 
Yes. Uh, some of the girls have been posting their pets on my Facebook page. So oh. I'm going to start sketching those and start putting them in the back. Very cool. <laughs> so are you going to do another tag book? Uh, not a whole book. I'm just going to do some of their pets and put them in the back of this one. There's oh, room in the back of that one. Okay. There's room for about another two inches, oh. two or three inches more room in this book, and uh, and we're going to just goof off <laughs> for. That's okay to goof off. A little. Yeah, we're going to finish up. They like doing it, so I I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, in your group, um, what's really nice to see is is uh, they they tell you what they want. I mean, it's as much it's yeah. kind of a group project. It is, and I and they like to tell me, and and I like to do what I like for them to just get tell me what to do, and I like that challenge. I like that challenge, and there's there's a lot of people that just watch and they just want to watch they don't they're they come into the room to watch and that's yeah. fine so yeah we have a good time well i like saturday nights i can't guarantee that i'll be in the tuesday and thursday ones but the saturday nights you'll see me there because and i've noticed that you've been playing a second game of bingo with the art prompts have you because yeah. I leave, I leave and go format my video, but uh, I might start sticking around and playing another game. Okay. I'm, and I'm I'm really trying to go as fast as I can. <laughs> well, you're doing fine. I like it going fast like that. Yeah, I do too. And and uh, uh, I just had a busy day yesterday, and I think that's I was I was kind of lagging because I was. I was tired, but uh, yeah, that's all right. Well, we get tired. Yeah, we do. But uh, yeah, when you had forty people in the room and you you got that many people doing it, you know you can't stop. You just got to keep keep them happy. <laughs> and then they want to. Then they don't want to leave when it's over. They want to stay and talk and chat and <laughs> party. <laughs> and a lot of times I'll stay up with them. Yeah. I'll just hang out with them. That's what they want to do. No harm. And I've been getting a couple of, of uh, young men. Uh, Thank you, Holly. Go ahead. A couple of teenagers have been coming in, and they're playing along with this. Oh, they are? The bingo yeah. games? Yeah. <laughs> They haven't won anything yet, have they? No. Well, I they're supposed to be doing the art prompts with me. Oh. And, uh, uh, so, oh, Barb, Barb Fillion wanted to know if I made this book. Yes, I did. I made I made both books. I've been working on. And she wants me to put my channel up. Well, I don't know how. Nah. <laughs> I, I did. Really know how. did. Holly put it up for you. But it's under my name. It's it, If anybody, you know, I don't have a fancy name, any kind of a name, just my name. Holly put it, the link in there. Thank you, Holly. She's a good, Holly's a good girl. Holly's, Holly's a good gal. Yeah, she, she's she got a nice wrench. She, <laughs> sure she shows, she, she weighs it around too when, when trouble comes through. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Becky and I have been. I got some trolls last Friday night. I usually don't get that many trolls, yeah. but you guys whacked them for me, so I appreciate that. Yeah. And then I was out of frame. <laughs> I'm doing that one doodle. I was just in my own world. They were going, Mary, go, Mary, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> and she was, <laughs> we're supposed to have to wait till she sees chat. And then I think Tanya messaged you. <laughs> Yeah, Tanya messaged me, and I usually don't look at my messages, but she messaged me more than once, so I thought I'd better look at it. So, <laughs> the time? I was more annoyed at myself than than you know getting the message. I was annoyed that I was out of frame. Yes, enormous day dip with me. A lot of y'all did. <coughs> Card, Josie was in there. 
<laughs> I can't remember. There was there was about forty of y'all. So uh, we have a good time. How late did you go last night? Till midnight. Till midnight. Oh my goodness. And 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 I and I just give away stickers. It's not like I give away anything fancy. Yeah. And uh, they don't care. They like the well, stickers. It's fun. The play in the bingo game is fun. You yeah. know, it's <laughs> and I, I'm tickled to death that I've got people that are actually doing the proms with me. Yeah, and that's what makes it me excited because they're they're what they want to do it too. And I and I I love playing games. And Joe Joe won't play games, board games and card games and stuff. And this <laughs> really helps me out a lot. It yeah, really love it. We're back watching Becky. Yeah, I, my son just called and said there's something wrong with the air conditioning unit down there. Oh, uh, oh we're working. I didn't know if it was the storms that came through or what. And he told me everything that he's done so far. And I was like, I need to call the HVAC people. We're do our yearly checkup with the system anyway. I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> How I'm going to deal with it because he works nights and so he sleeps during the day. So he's not going to want to be up dealing with HVAC people at 8 a.m. If he's sweating, he will. <laughs> yeah. This is true. But he studied HVAC in the Navy. So mm -hmm. he's checked everything he thinks it could possibly be, but I don't know. Look for a, a, a one of those uh, reset switches. Yeah, that's embarrassing when they come and all they have to do is hit the reset button. <laughs> yeah, well, we we're past our our yearly checkup and it's got a whole house filter, so it needs to be replaced anyway. So, Beth, you telling about the reset button? I, I'll yeah. tell you guys a funny story. It's embarrassed me. Yep. I took my car in for a checkup. And I told him, I said, my air conditioning isn't working. I just give out good, fresh, cold air. All of a sudden, it stopped. <laughs> well, you know, on the dashboard, there's an air conditioner button and another button. I don't know what it is, a fan or something. And he called me out there, and he said, we drove it down to the highway and back, and your air conditioning's fine, lady. And I'm going, well, it wasn't working for me. <laughs> He said, well, did you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> Was I embarrassed? Was I embarrassed? <laughs> they charged me the full amount for it. I guess oh. they charged me. Yeah, they charged oh, me. Oh, what a shame. I know. I thought that was pretty. I mean, they didn't do anything to fix it. That's dirty. That was dirty. I guess we were teaching Mary a lesson. I, I haven't been back. I haven't been back, but... I, I probably will, but I'm waiting a while so that they'll forget who I am. <laughs> I probably left for the rest of the week at that dumb lady who didn't turn the knobs on me. <laughs> oh, dear. But, you know, the thing of it is that air conditioner, because I'm the only one who drives the car, and I don't know how it got turned off because they were probably on for the last <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> I never had to turn them on. <laughs> Somehow they got turned off. I must have bumped them or something. <laughs> Maybe when you were cleaning your car or something. That could be. I do vacuum out my car. <laughs> it's probably due for another cleaning out. But uh oh, make sure you check the knob when you're done. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I need to get that windshield clean. I know I go urban sketching sometimes and my windshield is dirty and I'm going, those people probably think, why doesn't she clean her windshield? <laughs> oh dear. I haven't been urban sketching for a while. My my new camera, my phone, I used to have, I had the set all set up for my old, you know, the old phone and I'm just not comfortable in there. And I can't find a good sitting spot in my car to do my sketching. And that's kind of 
slowed me down a bit on all that. Well, that's no fun. No. <laughs> Norma said, Mary, do you have a choice to go somewhere else to get your car service next time? She says, that's yeah. what I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's probably what I should do. I like them. I like them. It isn't that I don't like them, and it was really my own stupid fault. I mean, but uh, they did charge me. They charged me for the service call, you know. They well, that was pretty rotten. They should have given me a little bit of a break. Yeah, I, I kind of thought so, too, because they didn't do anything except correct me, <laughs> lady. And they probably just, they probably had a good old laugh about it. They probably just hooted it up. <laughs> It was quite embarrassing to tell you the truth. Probably he was laughing at me when he told me, you know. They probably all went out to lunch on your bill. They probably did. <laughs> and laughed all through lunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that lady comes back. <laughs> oh, dear. Next time, her, her uh, it'll be her, her Peter isn't working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be sure to check that, though. I won't make that mistake twice. I do like the service that they give. Uh, I mean, you know, um, but he told me, he told me, he said, well, you know, I, I told him, I told him, I said, but you didn't do anything. And he said, well, that's the point, lady. We could have charged you for something you didn't need. <laughs> so... <laughs> He had a point there, but on the yeah, other hand, they could they could have set up. You didn't have any freon. We had to fill it up with freon, and or charge you for the six hundred dollars to fix it. You yeah. know, they yeah. could have put in a fake a fake fix or no fix and still charged me for it. Mm-hmm. So, but <laughs> they rather laugh at me. They 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 knew that they were embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I don't get the same service man. <laughs> no, know. hope you do, because he's honest. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'd ask for him by name. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to ask for him by face. I don't know his name. <laughs> it's that bald guy. <laughs> you might have a toupee now. <laughs> Mary paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> I do need to get it serviced in the fall, though. You know, get the, get the air, the, you know, the antifreeze checked and all of that. Been a pretty good car. I can't complain. Except the air conditioning wasn't working. <laughs> oh dearie me! <laughs> Norma's laughing. <laughs> She says, I'm oh, married. They should not have charged you. Not very good customer service. Yeah, they charged me full price of a of a service call. They, well, they said we drove it down to the, the highway. It has to be seven miles away. You know, we drove it down to the interstate and back, and it works fine. I'm going, well, it wasn't working for me. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go down to the interstate to get to the gas station to get them a snack. <laughs> oh dear well I learned my lesson good though you guys never do anything dumb like that I got Joe Joe took it you before you get put your foot in your mouth huh yeah, he does all my services really <laughs> He rotates the tires and checks the tires and checks the wall and the, he does it all. Yeah, he can oh, work. That's all. nice. I know he's he's handy to have around. Well, I know something stupid I did one time. My husband um, asked me to pick up some of the, um, you know, the windshield cleaner that you put in your car uh -huh. that squirts out so you can clean your windshield. Yeah. So I go down and I get it and he puts it in and um, goes to, you know, use it to, to clean the windshield. Foam 
everywhere. Foam? Yes, because Uh-oh. I bought soap. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he read it? Hello, thank you very much for being on my side. <laughs> it was the same color, you know, the blue color like Windex. And it was the same kind of bottle, but it was, you know, it was car wash. And um, and it was the same color. And he just stuck it in. And there was foam ever. It took us forever to get it out of this, you know, flush it out, get it out of all the tubing that goes up. Oh, the, oh it was crazy. It was it looked like a cartoon. But you had clean windshields, I'll bet you. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Clean everything. It was all over the <laughs> driveway. <laughs> that's funny. I well, it makes me feel better, Rosemary. <laughs> My grandfather put, put Dawn liquid soap in the in the dishwasher one time. <laughs> He he was he sweeping the suds out the back door. <laughs> I know. You know. It's crazy. You know. It's crazy. Oops. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. Holly's putting in links to your to your channels. Beth and Becky and Rosemary. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. oh Miss Vicky's in the room too. Oh, yeah. stop talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting to look over at the chat. I haven't looked at it one time. How how That's rude. Okay, Rosemary. That's rude. How rude. You're busy. We understand. <laughs> we been watching. We, we understand, understand Rosemary. We understand Rosemary. You only do one thing at a time. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, why do I always grab the paint that's almost empty? You make me want to use up my scrap paint, Becky. I got I'm a box so, I was clearing out. I am so trying to use this stuff that's, you know, it's getting old. It's got yes. clots in it or whatever. Okay, I feel better. Look what Ann did. She put antifreeze where the window washer fluid should be. Oh, oh, no. oh damn. No. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. <laughs> what were you saying, Becky? I, I'm just trying to use up all that old gooped up paint as much as I can and, you know, lift the goops out of it. <laughs> yeah. I know I got a box of it that I need to get rid of. That's flopping away again. <laughs> when you got your earphones on, it sounds just like a bird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll turn much quieter. <laughs> At least I don't have a real bird in here this time. <laughs> oh gosh! I had a now, bird. I keep thinking that you're doing envelopes, but you're just doing regular paper, aren't you, Becky? Yeah, it's just paper. It's just some that I use to, you know, clean off stencils and roll off on, and yeah, I'm just trying to get it more decorated. I could turn it into envelopes easily. Yeah, you could. It's just kind of thin paper. Copy paper. Yeah. I'm thinking I got to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow and get me. I don't think Dollar General sells like the six pack of or of the smaller envelopes or even maybe Walmart. The six by nine envelopes, the manila ones. I get the best price at Walmart on that size. Yeah, I think I'll make a trip to Walmart and pick some up. And they're a little thicker than the ones the dollar stores have, too. Yeah. So I think it's worth the trip. Yep. I think that that's what I'll do tomorrow. Go to Walmart. <laughs> I got one more tag here to put together. Let me switch the. 
Yeah. My flower. <sighs> Becky's working on her kitty cat. We both we popped over to you, Becky. Beth? Becky, Beth. I get you two mixed up. <laughs> My mouth doesn't say what my head is thinking. <laughs> I'll have those days. I'm oh, using my fine line. My fine liner. It works. Woo. I recommend it to anybody who has not tried a fine liner. I recommend it. Yeah, they're nice. They are nice. Just keep that nozzle clean. Yep. <laughs> Well, I put just a little bit of water in my paint to thin to, to thin my paint. Yeah. Yeah. And I and this has been in there since the first time I used it, and it's never clogged up. Okay. But it's really good paint, though, too. I think it's uh, uh, it's a Chroma low molten metals. It's a it's a better brand uh, of paint. It's not a cheap paint. It's expensive. Oh, okay. Yeah, I use the cheap stuff and I don't water it down. So I get into trouble with them sometimes. But but this must be really good paint because uh, it's, it ha like I said, I haven't done anything to my nozzle. But, but this needle goes all the way down to the base. So it must go all the way through. I wish they made those needles just a teeny bit longer, though. Just a teeny bit longer, but that's just me. They know what they're doing. I guess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now you'll let that dry a little before you flip it closed, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, because I have to, when I do the edges, oh, like yeah, I can't flip. No, I can't flip when I'm doing it. Yeah, you can't flip it. Just as a point. <laughs> I hope she knows to do that. Yeah, I've had all sorts of fun with those fine liners. Oops, I didn't take my release paper off here. Now I'm getting to get into trouble with it. I wish that they put just a sixteenth of an inch border on those release papers. I keep saying that on the double-sided tape. Just give us a little grab a hold. That's what I like about the label maker tape because it's got that slit that runs the yes. whole way to that. Yes, they could do that too. It. Yes. That would work too. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> we have a consensus. We have a consensus in the house. I totally agree. Let's see. I lost my little flag for this one though. But that one's mine, so... Okay, I'm bored. I'm gonna do something else now. Oh, what are you watching <laughs> now, Rosemary? We're gonna watch. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Well, no, don't watch now. I'm bored. I'm stopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come back. Well, I can show you what I did before oh, I put okay. I, before I put my my papers away. I can show you that. Oh, all right. Well, hold it then. Hold on. Give a I'm, give them some lag time. I'm holding. All right, we're there. Sort of, I think. You waved. Oh, now you're getting out paper. Hold a minute. Wait. No, no, they'll, they'll, they'll see it. They'll see I'm bopping around. Let me. I'm giving them a headache. There. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Let me get everything out of the way. I can already see the papers are cool. 
Cool. All right, this was just, uh, I think they all ended up being cleanup papers <laughs> because the printing just wasn't working. So I just kept cleaning and cleaning. But it's but, cool. Texture. But they'll be, they'll be good for, like I say, for whatever. Yeah. I like how this one came out too. I like the textures. Ooh, that's pretty. Started off with elephants, but they kind of all disappeared. Oh. I think I like those C ones the best. I really do like those. Mm -hmm. This is the elephants again. You can see them a little bit better. We're, I'm really lagging behind you. I'm, you're on that orange gold one now. Yeah. The... Well, don't confuse yourself. Just watch the hangout or else you'll really get confused. <laughs> Very cruel, Rosemary. Very so now. Cool. So now. So now, put all my junk away and figure out what the next project is. Mm. It's so hard to dry. And put my stamps. There we go. You're going to stamp on your jelly plate? No, I already stamped on it. I'm done with my jelly plate. All oh. these were stamps over here. Oh. I did all the stamping with that with the jelly plate. Oh, I thought you were getting stamps out. No, I'm putting them away. Okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let's look at chat. Branson says, very nice, Rosemary. Oh, how yeah. Vicky's in the house. Vicky Ross says, sounds like y'all have it under control. Going to watch a movie now. She's going to watch a movie. <laughs> She's bored with us. I was going to say, translation, you guys are boring. I got to go watch something. That'll keep <laughs> me awake. Time watching your movie, Rosemary. I, I got to watch something that'll keep me awake now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're so saying good night to Vicky. Good riddance, Vicky. Oh, oh, that's all right. I'll, see. I'll, probably, I'll probably see her next weekend. She'll yeah. get she'll get back at me. <laughs> Allie's in the house. Hi, Allie K. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll back. Cheryl said they had pizza tonight. Ooh, don't talk about food. I'm getting hungry. I know. <laughs> I eat, a. I like to take those soft tacos. Mm -hmm. those flour ones. I like to make them two ways. I'll put cream cheese, bread cream cheese on them and put cranberries on. I like my dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. And so I'll make me a, uh, and then top it, kind of make me a, um, I like it that way, a little sandwich type thing. And uh, then I also like to melt cheese in between, like cheddar cheese and that. Mm -hmm. So I had that this afternoon. So I really wasn't, we haven't had any supper. Uh, so it was probably what's going to last me for a while. Now oh, this paintbrush needs help. Let's go to the other one. I don't want to use that one. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> I'm here. Aw. Who's left? Who's here anyway? Who's who's still here? Everybody? Yeah, there's quite a few. There's 62 in here tonight. 
No, I mean in the hangout. Oh, in the hangout. The yeah, we're still uh-huh. here. We're yeah. all still here. Oh, Beth Mary, here. Becky's here, and you're here. here. Mary, I'm going to have to run, though. Oh, okay, Becky. That's uh, it's got, fine. We've got to talk about the AC unit and some other problems. Oh, yeah. So I'll I'll catch up with you guys later. I ha- later I had fun. Thanks for coming, Becky. All Bye right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I hope you get that fixed. I think she bopped out. Yeah, if you guys need to leave, I don't want to keep you here all night. We're we're uh we're just working on our art. We're just here hanging out. <laughs> hanging out. Wanna yeah. hang out? Hanging out on a hangout. Yeah, I don't like to do a project because, you know, Tanya and Lisa are doing that. And if we did one, I think that would, you know, that gets to be a little much if, for people to follow along. So just bring your own art and come and chat. And I think Aunt Becca's planning something. She's trying to find a good time. That air conditioning and stuff is not fun to deal with the, either. Right. Let's see. I was reading chat. Uh, Everybody said goodnight to Becky. Cheryl says we're ready, ready, ready. (laughs) No, Tanya. Tanya was Tanya was in here earlier, um, but she had to go feed her husband. (laughs) Maybe we should take requests. What do they want to see? Yeah. Yeah. What would you like to see? That's the question. What do you want to see happen here? We, 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 might have, we might have the technology. We might be able to make it happen. That's right. <laughs> Mina says she's listening while I add stuff to my glue book. Yeah, we could do some glue booking. Cheryl says we're ready, ready, ready. They're not telling us what they want to see. Yeah, they ready for what? Not we yet. want to hear funny it. stories. Give her a chance. <laughs> Because that ready, ready, ready was on there a few minutes ago before you said that. Do a yeah. pick eight. Woohoo! Cheryl's got it. Do a pick okay. eight. Do you want to do a pick eight, Beth? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Let me let me switch over to Beth. And I have to set up though, because I just got my paint out for I've been putting white swatches on the back of my tags for do I'll you, do want, me, do you, you want me to do the sticks? Yeah. Okay. I got them. Well, don't start yet though, and go slow this time because I will. I have to hunt for stuff. <laughs> I'll I'll go as fast as you need or as slow as you need. Where did I put my journal? Rosemary, you can listen. <laughs> Rosemary, do you want to play? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I have uh, like 75 different prompts. And that's, that's just items in my craft room. Mm-hmm. And they're all on sticks. So I will pull out about 10, 8 sticks. And, and we flip them over at the same time. And we put that prompt on a piece of white paper. And it's an art journal game. And by the at the end of, at the end of the game, you have an art journal page. Oh, I see. It's like, like the pick tens, Rosemary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's pick tens, Becky mm-hmm. Dirty Dozen, Bingo Night. We do it on Bingo Night on Saturday um, night. On um, Bingo Night, she has a bingo. Uh, it's, well, it's a not double, a, but a little machine, mm-hmm. and it pulls the numbers. Yeah, just a bingo machine, and and uh, it's it's a, it's a dual game. Girls play, or they some of the people play bingo, and some of the people play the prompts from the bingo, and some people do both. And uh, wow, you got to be like you know on top of stuff, doing all these things together. It, it, it might take too much it's of very, my brain power away. It's from hilarious. Me. It's hilarious. <laughs> we have the best time at it, and it, we've been doing it for I don't know over a month now and and i said we'll see how it goes well they they want it they want it and i was like hey okay. laura how you doing laura's here uh-oh we gotta Hi, stop jersey. talking about laura hey jersey jersey i i need your um 
I need, are you on Facebook? I, I need you to send me a message so I can hook up with you. She's on Jersey. Facebook. I need to hook up with you on Facebook so we can get you and Rosemary together. Holy moly. I'm ready for her. She's ready for you, Jersey. Yeah. This was last night's bingo game, Mary. I uh, mean, Rosemary. Mm -hmm. And after we got finished, I have a journal page. And this is what it turned out to look like. Here, let me go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so these are these are some of the journals that I've made from our games. Mm -hmm. And we like doing it. They're all different. It's like fun. Except we're just doing the pick eight tonight. I'm ready. Yeah. We'll just do a pick eight. Cheryl, you ready, ready, ready? Are you going to play or just or keep track of us? We're going to do a pick eight. I don't know what I did to the cap to my glue, though. Let's see. There it is. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. You're in the spotlight. I'm getting the stick out. Your thing. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. I'm getting the stick out. Cheryl's going to lurk. Okay. How many people, let's see, how many prompts we had? How many prompts did we go through last night? At least 30, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah. It, it was like 34 or 5 before we got a bingo. Yeah. Yeah. And was it Judy? Who was it that got the bingo? Judy? Um, I had um, my list is right here. I got it. Josie won, Judy Lee, Holly, and Norma. Wow. Uh, we, I got two winners on each game, and and I will send them. They get prizes. Holly's not ready yet. She okay. Says, she says she'll be right back. So. All right. I'm I'm getting there. Hi, Christy. Welcome, welcome. Jenna says, Norma, the hardest part is matching the body parts to fit the bottle. They must be talking about Shannon's bottle, babes. Oh, Jan yeah, Jenna said she just got done making a Shannon Green bottle baby paper doll. Oh, she said it took forever. <laughs> yeah, the bottles are their bodies, and then they put people's heads on the on the bottles yeah the bodies are you playing branson she usually does kendra's in the house kendra we're going to do a pick eight what time is it here it's what 7 30 we started at 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 five so We'll probably end with the pick eight, you know, because it's Sunday night and you guys have lives. So I'll let you, I won't keep you all night. <laughs> so we're going to do the pick eight and then we're going to let you go. I picked eight and I got two alternates. Oh, got two alternates. Okay. Whenever somebody doesn't like one, they say, can we have an alternate? And I'll pick the next one for the alternate. Okay. All righty. Okay, the very first poll. Wait, 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 hold it. Holly, are you ready? Holly. Okay. Okay, Ray Ray, Ray's going to play. Where are you going to play? If I have the stuff. <laughs> okay. If you don't have the stuff, let me know because I can give you uh, substitutions. Okie dokie. Oh. The, the rules are there are no rules. So anything goes. Oh, okay. Holly's ready. All right, we're ready. I haven't posted mine either, uh, Norma. So I'll, I'll have to do my post my page from last night too. Okay, the very first prompt is red and blue. You may red. use paint. You can use markers. You can use colored paper. Anything red and anything blue. You can use as little or as much as you want on your paper. 
Red and blue is the prompt. We should make Rosemary do a jelly plate. <laughs> Except they would probably all be dry by the time by the time we got through all the the prompts. <laughs> Rosemary, you don't have to play if if you don't want. You can go, you know, do whatever you were going to do. You can watch and learn. <laughs> well, learn you don't want me to play, Mary. It's Just fun. tell me. It's fun. Everybody <laughs> loves to do it. And the girls in the the girls in the in the chat room, they'll they'll post the prompts for us. Carly's playing. Ali Kayo's playing. Uh, Let's see who else is playing. I missed some of the others. Christy's working in her Bible journal. Oh, that's nice. Jersey, email me your or message me your who you are on Facebook. Message me on Facebook so I can connect up with you. I can't get a hold of you because I don't think. And and red and blue mixed together make purple. So or if you brown. Need, <laughs> if, uh, if you need to mix your colors together, that's perfectly fine. So I've got purple on my page. Let's see. Scott Quick is playing and Mina's playing. Thank you, guys. We kind of did this on the spur of the moment. We did. We'll probably close out after this because I don't want to keep you guys all Sunday night. And Rosemary, thank you so much for coming in. Rosemary was my my lifesaver for another person. Well, Mary, thank you for having us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we like you. Well... Hangouts are fun. You know, I think hangouts are more fun than uh, sitting here doing your art yourself. Oh, you know? absolutely. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Wait, let's do, let's go on, Rosemary. She's playing with us here. Let's see what she's doing. Woo! Purdy. Purdy. Is that tissue? No, that's that paint or tissue paper. That's paint, isn't it? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, that's it's paint. <laughs> girl, see? Oh, well, it's Mary. It's Mary. Hard to go I already see a face. Right. I bet you Mary sees the face, right? I see a face. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah, there you go. I do. Too. I see a face. A man with a mustache. He's got a red nose and a red mustache. Yes. And his eye. Look at his eye. And he's his got eye. eyebrows too. But his hair is blue. That's either his hair. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm done. <laughs> okay. We give it we give the girls just a few minutes to get get caught up. As soon as Mary says ready, 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 I'll flip oh. another prompt over. Oh, I'm gonna dry. You guys okay. need to dry time. I'm gonna put myself on Go mute while I dry. So we're gonna okay. give them a Okay, girls, we're playing we're gonna flip it in just a second. That me either, Sherry. This is this is a perfect evening. <laughs> Yay, Christy's playing. Good job. Okay. That's right. If if we had some place to be, we would already be there. <laughs> That's a good point. It is. And if I'm not in here with you guys, I'd probably be in there laying on the bed with the big screen TV all on watching my Saturday night bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I watch it to see if there's any editing, but I've never had to edit. I've never, I don't know how to edit. <laughs> oh, no. So it wouldn't do me any good if I did want to edit something. <laughs> Okay, Josie's playing. Well, we just did the first prompt. It's red and blue, Josie. You got time. I'll wait on you. And keep a pencil paper ready because if, if we 
Call the next one. You can write it down. Cheryl's got to mute the TV. Okay. Cheryl, Cheryl plays. Uh, but if she's got to go get the remote, she she has a walker she that she has to use. So it takes her just a minute to get back. Now I'm going to go back on mute then. Okay, Holly. We'll, we'll be there in just a second. Waiting on Mary. We're going to wait on Mary tonight. Whatever Mary wants. <laughs> okay y'all ready i'm ready if you guys are guess what it's a wild card oh gold <laughs> <laughs> of course mary says gold wild card guys what do you want me to do tell me what you want me to do what can I do? Stencil? I could do a stencil. Is it too early for a stencil? No, I think a stencil would work fine. In fact, I might put my gold through a stencil. That's a great idea. Nettie, the face <laughs> is pretty cool, isn't it? Her face is cool. I think you need to work around your face. Yeah, Rosemary, you're in the spotlight. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're staring at your face. Oh, 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 oh. That's sad. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put down some of my jelly plate paper. Oh, that sounds quite a good idea. On the blank spots. That's a great idea. I'm going to stencil some gold. Okay, where's my, where's my glue? If they don't call gold as a prompt, I pick one I don't like and rebel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I get my gold on there. I go, I rebel. Okay. Beth doesn't like me to rebel. No, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. You don't care? Nah. We want you to have your gold. Yeah. I'm going to put gold. Let Mary have her fun. How about if I use this? Oh, I know. You know, Joe Joe gave me a stencil from the garage. He made me a stencil. Cool. He, got this, he got this off of the one of those big fat jars. They were air fresheners from the Dollar Tree. And, and it all dried up. And then he saved the top just for me to use as a stencil. Oh, oh how good is that? He is so supportive. So supportive. Ooh, look at what Rosemary's doing. Ooh, cool. You made those cool background papers. Now you got to use them, Rosemary. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Christy says, Mary, I don't have anywhere else to be. This is the best place to be with my friends. Aw. We're glad you're here, Christy. I think we have some of the nicest people who come to our groups. Yep. And if you aren't nice, you're liable to get whacked with a wrench. That's right. <laughs> We've got the solution for that. And sometimes I whack people just getting up. <laughs> I'll carry my phone and and my phone I forget to turn it off and my phone will bump something and or my fingers will bump the phone and it'll put them in timeout or <laughs> oh no. I've done that a couple times. I'm so embarrassed. Huh. Well, I guess I'll I'll call this pretty much done. There we go. All right, I'm going to dry 
myself on mute for a minute. Mary is a big dryer, I noticed. Yeah, she she dries. She likes to use a lot of products. <laughs> Yeah, I tend to put a lot of paint on my pages. I don't know why I do that, but I've just got to have oozy paint, oozy paint. And then I got to dry it off. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. That's right. That's I, what you do. Paint makes me happy, even if it's craft paint. There you go. Okay, I think I'm done. How you guys doing out there? Hi, Mags. Mags is in the house. Hi, Mags. Welcome, welcome. We're doing a pick eight. We just kind of just started if you want to join in. Allie Kay says her page looks like the 4th of July. Woohoo! I was thinking mine looked like Christmas. <laughs> Allie Kay's ready. Nettie's ready. We've just done two prompts. The first one was red and blue, and the second one was a wild card. So there's time, Maggie. There's time for you to join in. <laughs> Rosemary. That face <laughs> looks like men. <laughs> That guy has curly blue hair. <laughs> and he's got a gold hat with furry hat. A gold, that Those uh, feathers look like uh, fur. And he's mm -hmm. got a fur collar on. Mm -hmm. and he's got something coming out of his mouth. <laughs> he's smoking something. Oh, he's my God. Something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, none of that in my hangout. <laughs> Tell him, not me. Timeout. Aww. He's going to have to go to timeout. He's kind of a handsome fellow. He's got a red face, so he's embarrassed. No, he's he no, he's he's probably from a different planet. Oh, he's from a different planet? Oh. Yeah, Mars. Then he's he's cool with it all. Mars. Yeah. <laughs> he has a hot face and a cool hair. <laughs> He's a pretty good looking guy. Is it a hoodie? It looks like a hoodie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Mina says that she, she thinks he's a mountain man. Could very well be. Carly's ready. I think we can move on. We got a lot of readies. Okay. okay Ma, man. Hi, Ann. The is next Andy? one is Posca Pen. Use your uh -oh. Posca pen. If you I don't, don't have, have a Posca pen, use a magic marker or an ink pen or some other colored pens, some jelly pens. You can use any kind of pen if you do not have a Posca pen. Okie dokie, I can do that. <laughs> well, thanks to Mitzi, Mary has Posca pens. Bless her heart. Now I just have to decide what color, and it's not going to be pink, and it's not going to be green. <sighs> I think it'll, this light blue is calling my name. My page isn't dry yet. All right. Let's see what Beth is doing. Ooh, look at Beth. I'm doodling with my purple Posca pen. 
All right. Making a border. I'm drawing flowers. I decided that my Christmas page needs some blue flowers. <laughs> Ew. Except for that one got kind of drippy. <laughs> yeah, those Posca pins can ooze out on you sometimes here. Oh, he's a cutie, Rosemary. Rosemary is dressing that fella up. <laughs> it's fun to just kind of play. All right, I think that's enough for me. I'm gonna dry. Mary's drying. Just give let's give Mary just a second. <laughs> Usually she's the first one. <laughs> she's waiting on us. This paint is slowing me down tonight. That's okay, Mary. Oh yeah, we got some readies out there. All right, we're going to make an envelope tag. An envelope. envelope, a little envelope you can make and stick on glue on it. You can tip it in if you want. An envelope. Okay. Make a little tiny envelope and put it on his brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beth, 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 Beth. Okay. Okay. Let me find some paper. Let's yeah, see. that's what I was thinking. You can I use paper or some of the garbage if you need to. Okay. And I'm just going to make a simple little folding envelope thing. An envelope tag. All and right. then we can put something secret of it in there. Put a secret in there. The secret is we don't know what it is. <laughs> it might be a prompt. You never know. It might be a prompt, yeah. Well, let's see. I don't like mine. I never like mine until about the seventh prompt. Eight, well, this is the gate, so probably about what? The fifth prompt, maybe it'll start coming together. Could I be. never like mine until court, toward the end of the prompts. We all put an envelope tag on it, though. Joe's talking to the cat or the dog. <laughs> I'm not, he's talking to somebody because I'm not in there. <laughs> Where am I going to put it now? Over here in the corner? Yeah. Well, 
my blue stars are wet. Wet paint. I might have to go mute and dry these off. Uh oh. That Posca pen, I got it got drippy on me. I'll be right back. Have okay. fun. Be careful. <laughs> How do we put it on our page? Or I'm gluing we... mine on. You're going to glue it on? Did you see mine? I just mm -mm. made a little envelope. And I'm, I'm, I'm just glued it on there. Okay. I put a button on it. I can do that. It's my envelope. Put anything I want on it. You can do whatever you want to do. And I think I'm going to make a, um, a little thumb... Something. Something. Uh, in this so I can put something in it. I know what I'll do. Oh, he's on the phone. I thought he was talking to somebody, but he is. <laughs> 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 he talks to... He talks to his mom, and he'll put it on, put her on speakerphone. He's a, he's a good boy. He talks to his mom on the phone. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they'll watch the same movie. He gets on that grit TV that plays those westerns. Uh huh. And she lives oh. like. Beth, Beth, I hate to interrupt you, but there's a call for an alternate. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guys. Thank you, Janet. We want an alternate. Coffee stain, something ephemera, ephemera, something old, some kind of a, an old picture or something that looks old. Ooh. Or something coffee stained. An old picture. Hmm. Sorry. I'll pay attention now. <laughs> Cheryl's been yelling at me. Oh, okay. I just have to, I wouldn't have noticed if Janet didn't put my name in red. I know. Sometimes they do that to me too. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Welcome, welcome. A colorful life. I think that's Anne. She was in my stream Friday night. It was so fun. She's our mail lady in Fibsville. Anne. She says she's done. <laughs> Sherry's in the house. Hi, Sherry. Talk about an interactive stream. Yes. Yes, it's Anne. A Color for Life is Anne. Hi, uh, Teresa just dropped in. Mrs. Ms. Artful Sassy Studios. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. We're doing a pick eight. I think we're ready for what? The fifth prompt coming up. And uh, then then uh, that'll be the end because I don't want to keep these gals all night. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick the next one in for me. Patricia oh, Stewart. Oh, we are up. lucky tonight. It's another wild card. Oh, another Ooh. wild card. Yay. Tell me quick. What do you want me to do? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me quick. Hurry. <laughs> wild card. <laughs> what should I do? Uh hmm. Do what you want to do. <laughs> it's a wild card. Oh, that's so fun. You like to I'm gonna play, play with my fine line paint applicator wow. and find the white one. What did I do with the white one? There it is. It's on its side. Mine oh, looks like Christmas on holiday the fourth of july i think i'm going to do some fireworks here uh oh maybe i'm not it's not coming <laughs> out. i'm gonna do circles you're gonna do circles ally k gave me the she says Hers is looking like the 4th of July, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 4th of July here. I'm going to show the gals what I'm doing. Whoops. Here we go. Except for my white kind of being stubborn. Oh, 
Gotta have some fireworks. Probably all I'll get this year because my nephew and his family are going to Branson. We usually go to their house. I'm going to miss going. Boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more like spiders. Huh? I have to put some more sparkles in there. It needs a word, celebrate, or something. Uh-oh, I'll probably have to stop and dry again. <laughs> if you must. You can go without me if everybody's ready. I'll catch up. Let's see, which side here needs some more sparkles? How you doing, Rosemary? Huh? Oh, Rosemary. You doing okay? Oh, yep. Let's you go over there. I gotta go over there. Oh, look at her. She's got a wild man going on over there. He's the man of the hour. Oh, I'll have to make it down to Branson sometime, Norma. Um, there's a big needle, not a big needlework, but there's a needlework sh uh, shop down there. Wow. And, uh, some of my St. Louis friends go there every now and then for a retreat. I w I've been in Branson before with that needlework treat retreat. Oh. I would like to go again. Just so I can rent me a limo. That's right. <laughs> Branson a lemon a limo. There you go. A limo. Limo service. She's our limo driver in Fibsville, too. Excellent. She calls it a taxi, but I call it a limo. <laughs> we had fun last Friday night um, picking jobs out for for uh it kind of snowballed <laughs> everybody went crazy i guess i have to live there unemployed <laughs> there's no one in your hobby whatever your hobby is you can have you can be retired classes. rosemary huh you can go to the saturday afternoon classes <laughs> i can be the uh, resident eco printer oh yeah, yeah. absolutely we were having fun picking out jobs for everybody. That was really kind of fun. All right, Beth, if you want to um, call names, I'm going to go dry, so don't wait for me. Okay. Hi, you ready, Rosemary? Yes, ma'am. Okay, add a butterfly, bird, or flower. Butterfly, oh. bird, or fire. One, two, or three. You can do pick your pick your pick which one you want. Butterfly, bird, or flower. Okay. Let me see what I got here. I might have to go on the hunt. It could be a punch. It could be a picture, a magazine picture. Mm -hmm. It could be a stamp. It can be a stencil, a sticker. Okay. Uh, lots of choices. Yes,
Thank you, Norma. She said Friday was fun. Maybe next time would love to meet you in person. That would be fun, Branson. We could do a live stream. <laughs> Patricia says, Mary, you'll have to call the fire department if you have all those fireworks. <laughs> I was trying to think how I was going to get a butterfly bird of flower on these fireworks. <laughs> I may have to do a vintage picture that you called for the alternate. Except for I don't know where. Oh, you know, I do know. Um, what did I do with the last? Hmm. Vintage picture. Yeah, how did I do with it? No. Maybe I can find something. You guys can go without me if you're ready. I'm looking for pictures. Okay. I'm trying to cut fast. You're good. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. I got to beat Mary, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy, Rosemary. Easy peasy. Well, if you're not playing with paint, you might beat us. <laughs> I got some pretty flowers. I don't know how they'll look on there, but I can make them look like sparklers. Oh, I got a lot of fussy cutting to do. That's all I can say. Going through the effort. Ooh, there's a the cook. Do we have any cook going on with the firework? Make a decision. That's the hard part. Oh, land of liberty. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm just, I'm not at my desk. I'm in my chair, kind of behind my desk. Looking through all these fussy cuts, seeing if I can find something I'm going to put on that page. I like that Land of Liberty. I kind of like that car. I have no idea what that is. All right, enough. That must be drying. Ooh, that's looking nice. You put a flower in his hair, Rosemary. Cool. Yeah. He's got a feather in his ear. Well, welcome, Teresa. You think my work needs an eagle? Oh, it does need an eagle. But I'd have to hunt all afternoon to find one, Mina. I kind of like the idea of putting the eclipse in there somehow. But then again, I should have done that first. So I think I'll go to the old vintage car. <laughs> Underneath the fireworks here. Oh! I can't use that one. Drive a fuller built in Nebraska. 
An early automobile was designed and built by Charles M. Fuller of Angus, Nebraska. I used to walk by that old shop. It doesn't even look like it. And I went out for walks, and I always wondered, is that a Fuller? Oh, I can't use the cars. That's about... You can oh. use it, and then you'll always have it. It'll be in your art. I know, but I don't want to cut it up. It's It'll go in my... Use I know. It lose it. Use it or lose it. <laughs> I'll lose it. You can do I'll it. Lose it. I can go put the flower on it. <laughs> These fireworks need some flowers. <laughs> I can't use it. I've got to I gotta save it for Well you'll have to put it in your journal then. Yeah, I'll put it in my journal. Okay. I can't I can't clean it up and everything. It's too it means too much to me. I used to walk by that um I knew they used to build cars in that shop. Um it's and then you know like this little town is a ghost town now. Uh you know, it just there's just one or two families there. I don't mind putting a flower on here. This it, it looks like it belongs with these fireworks. What are you doing, uh, Beth? I'm shaking up a whiteout pen. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready, Mary? Are you still cutting? Okay. I'm still cutting, but you can go ahead. I had to look for a picture. You can go ahead and call the next one if you want. I think there's a lot of red. Are there readies out there? Not yet. Oh, how are you guys doing? I'm ready. Okay. Rosemary's ready. Let's if go ahead. Ready, if you're not ready, you can write it down. Okay. Yeah. We're going to use something chalk. If you don't have any chalk, use pan pastels. If you don't have any pan pastels, Use something white, like a white out pen or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I do have some chalk, and I think I've got some white chalk. These are my antique chalk crayons. I got them from my mom. They're as old as I am. And wow. My mom is a school teacher, and there's some uh, school chalk in here. <laughs> Very cool. So I'm going to use it. I can't use some of it. Well, I think I'm just going to use this. I think I like that flower. I think it's working. You know what I want to put on here? What? Is a coat of iridescent layer of iridescence on here. I got some the other day. Iridescent uh, medium. Oh. <laughs> Can I do that instead of the chalk? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it till the last prompt. We're okay. on what? prompt. Yeah, uh, you can do that. Okay. That's allowed. Butterfly, bird, or flower up to th three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do one or all of them or anything you want. Hi, Bootsy. Welcome, welcome. I kind of scrolled back and missed who came in. Teresa's here. Mina, Janet. Sassy Studios is Teresa. Nettie. Holly. Barb, we've got a whole bunch of readies there from the last one. Yeah, we, we did that. Okay. I'm going to take this old card and put it in my journal. And then I'll come back to the iridescent after we do prompt A. I got red all over my glue stick. What are you doing, Rosemary? Gotta look I'm done. <laughs> what are you doing? You're good at this, Rosemary. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. 
Just think, Rosemary, you can go post it in your group and say, look what I did in the hangout with Mary. <laughs> no way. They're going to say, oh, can we do a swap like that? No. <laughs> No, you have to do a pick eight, Rosemary. <laughs> Don't give me another thing I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I understand completely. If I have one more thing to do, I'm going to explode. Remember, I don't commit to anything anymore. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I commit too much. They should commit me. I've become very comfortable saying no. I know a lot of people are not comfortable in saying no. It's okay to say no. It's I'm okay. very comfortable saying no. It's okay to say no. It's okay <laughs> to say no. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> you have to keep reminding yourself. Well, my problem is I want to do it all. I just get so inspired by what goes on out in the out in the YouTube land, out in the yeah. artists. They just all inspire it's me. It's a new world out here. Yes, it is. Thank you, Mag. This is fun. <laughs> oh, Cheryl is exercising the wrench. Did you have to bop somebody out, Cheryl? I didn't see that happen. Hi, Lynn. Lynn's going to lurk for a little while. Okay, Lynn. Rosemary, uh, Teresa says she looks like a sassy Statue of Liberty. Oh, she's not the Statue of Liberty. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Welcome, welcome. I think I'm going to get out that red pasta pen and outline my envelope. It needs some... Fourth of July work on it here. You should take me off. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm done. <laughs> We're not done. We still have another prompt to go, don't we, Beth? Yeah, we got we got one more. One and more prompt. prompt. You're not done yet, Rosemary. <laughs> no, what I mean is I'm done with this prompt. So I don't think oh, people look okay. at a <laughs> look at a picture with nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's kind of like my channel. There's nothing going on. <laughs> Aw. Rosemary, okay. thanks for coming in on short I'm, notice. I'm, I'm, doing another one. I'm doing the next one. All right, we're ready. If you don't if you're not ready, just write it down. The next one is stickers or rub ons. Oh, I need some fourth of July. Stickers or rub ons. Do you have any flags, mm. Mary? No. Flags? I have some snowflakes. Well, that'll work. Let's see what I have here. Rub on. I've got some clocks and birdhouses. Home sweet home type things. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, it's heavy. You don't have any stars? I, star stickers? You don't have any stars? Any what? Stars? Hmm. Well, no. <laughs> if, if I have them, they're packed away. That's my problem. I'm trying to get things in a spot to where I can go get them when I want them. I probably have some someplace. <sighs> can I stencil and call it a sticker? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I probably have some star stencils. Stars would be good on here. I think I got some the other day in a pack. Come on, get in there. Get in there. I have to coax my things to go back on the shelf. Put that 
Let me see. Rosemary, what are you up to? I'm getting a rub on. <laughs> right? I had to go hunt for it. Let me see. Oops. Oh, she's cutting it out of one of those gypsy pieces. Very cool. Well, 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 well. I guess I can't do stars. I'll do something else. Dots. Doodle them. Doodle them on. Doodle them on. Okay. Yeah. In white, maybe in gold or white. Yeah. White. Whatever you want. Both. Let's see. Where's my white? We'll doodle some stars. I found star stickers. Okie dokie. I like my page now. It looks like good. good. Yeah. Mine looks like a 4th of July and it's not supposed to. Yours looks like Labor Lady Liberty, Teresa's saying. Very patriotic. Well, you picked the colors. Nick <laughs> <laughs> did. I didn't. I just pulled them out of the a bag. Oh, I like my white stars. There you go. Maybe I'll put some red ones on. And then I'm going to give it a coat of iridescent medium. Instead of the chalk. <laughs> I do like it. I like what's happening on it. A couple more stars here down there. Oh, Beth does have stars. Look at her. Beth, you probably sent me star stickers and they're still in the happy mail envelope. That those yep, I probably did. did. Yeah. I'm They're sorry. in the happy mail envelope. They're probably Christy wants an alternate, and the alternate is use a magazine or a feather. I'm sorry. Mm. Magazine or a feather is your alternate. I like that alternate. Well, I already used a magazine. That's my flower. I've got one flower celebrating the 4th of July here. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Rosemary's done. Let's go look at Rosemary's. Oh, she's oh. cute. He's cute. Is that I I I see the Statue of Liberty now, Rosemary. No way, Jose. <laughs> I like it. It's the flowers and the feather, the peacock feather, mm -hmm. and the blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Rosemary, light um, bulb. The light bulb. <laughs> yeah, this was a light bulb. Where? Point out the, the light bulb. The decal is a light bulb. Oh, there you go. I see it now. Very cool. Well, then it has to be the Statue of Liberty. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's your art. You can have it be what you want. What is it? <laughs> I got to wait. I got to wait. Out, man. Is this the last prompt? That's it. Okay. <laughs> You're complete. Now you get to sign it, date it, <laughs> let it dry, take a picture of it, and post it. Oh, dear. Now, if you need to do one more prompt, like a, a, a an outline or a word, you, you are allowed to put a word on there. I'm going to put... I've got Land of Liberty. I'm going to put that on mine. There you go. Sorry, Beth. That's okay. I'm going to put a word on mine. All right. I think... I think I like mine. Probably all the fireworks I'll get this year. Land of Liberty. Where's my scissors? Maybe I'll tuck it in my envelope. My word. The envelope needs something in it, Beth. I put a little piece of paper in mine. I put a little piece of paper in it and write a love note on it. <laughs> a love note? Well, I can write, Dear Joe, I love you. Yeah. He's only saying that because I just walked in. <laughs> he just, you, you said it because he just walked in? <laughs> no. He, he, I would have said it anyway. Aw. <laughs> okay, I need. Well, my paint is still wet. So I'm going to do a little dry time. I need to find. Hold on. I need to the there. last alternate. What was the last alternate they're asking? The now? alternate was a magazine or a feather. Oops. Yeah, they are mags. They, they're all different. <laughs> it's amazing how we come up with our own creations. That's what makes the game so fun. Um, I made this envelope. Yeah. And I was going to write a love note. Okay, everybody's working really hard. They're quiet. <laughs> I had to go on the They're home. really tired. I was on mute. <laughs> okay. I am just going to put Land of Liberty on here. And I'm going to put something in my envelope. And I think I am done. Well, I'm going to put some of that iridescent on it. But I can't until it all dries. So that'll happen maybe tomorrow. <laughs> There's mine. Land of Liberty. It has an iridescent. I'm going to put a note in here after this dries. And uh, then I'm going to border it and put some iridescent medium on it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, I'm just, I gave, I had, I put a name. I'm going to glue that on right now. One second. Oh, you put a name on a tag? You're going to put mm -hmm. it in your envelope? On my what? Did you put an envelope on your page, Rosemary? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I'm not putting it in. Oops. Oops. And here, <laughs> here's Beth's. Oops. 
Beth. She's got butterflies all over hers. Butterflies and stars. Aww. A love note. Boy, I'm really lagging. I just okay. went with Beth. And There it is. <laughs> All right, Rosemary. When you laugh, we got to come see what's funny. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? Yeah. Afasa. What does that mean? Well, you guys were saying Statue of Liberty and you've been saying a girl, but this is a Samoan gentleman. All Samoan men have long, beautiful hair. Yeah. They have flowers in their hair. And a very common Samoan name is Afasa. So that's really. Oh, how yeah. cool is that? Now I love him. <laughs> <laughs> See? Wow, I like it. Forget that old Statue of Liberty. Yes, this is the Fossa. <laughs> Post on Beth's what? Oh, in Beth's, uh, are you a member of, uh, Ann, are you a member of Beth's group? That's what she's saying. You can post it in her group on Facebook. Um yeah, I don't have a group. It's just, I can't, I can't, uh, I get way behind. I'm behind now. If I had a group, I couldn't keep up with it. I wouldn't do you guys justice. Or you can even post it if you're on Facebook, post it on your own page. What is the name of the war dance that Samoan men dance? Do you know, Rosemary? It's really oh, weird. Yeah, I, I. I used to know the name. I don't remember it right now, to tell you the truth. Um, hold on. Let me get my memory, but I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I understand perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Is she talking about the war dance or the, there's so many different, that, which one are they talking about? Yeah. Bootsy said, uh, what is the name of the war dance Samoa men dance? It's really fierce. The really fierce one. The Siva Tau, are you talking about that one? He hasn't answered yet. Say it again. Siva Tau, is that what he's talking about? Fima Tahu? I don't no, know. Siva, no, here, let, me, let me write it down. No, S-I-V-A, -S separate word, T-A-U. Oh. The Siva Tau. I the T-A-U, is it S or F? S as in Sam. Sam. Sima. Siva. S I V A. Oh, Siva. Yeah. Pahu. Tau. Pau. T A U. Tau. Pau. No, it's a P, not a P. <laughs> Never mind. Lucy he says, um, sounds like it might be. <laughs> oh, there, Janice. Janice said it. Where can they post pictures? You uh, Post them where you normally post your artwork. Uh, if you're not a member of Beth's or, or Aunt, Aunt Beck's or or um, Tanya or, or if you have an Instagram account or put them on your own Facebook. I don't have a group. I just, I can't, I could not keep up with a group. I wouldn't do it justice. Oh, look, I got the Star Spangled Banner. Waves as a sign of freedom across the countryside. I'm going to put that in my note. Cool. It was just here on this place where I cut out the land of liberty thing. I like that. I'm going to tuck it right in there. Then I'll have that done, and now all I have to do is the iridescent stuff. Well, I know that you guys all have things to do. I don't want to keep you all night, so I'm going to close out the hangout. I want to thank you all for coming. It's it's almost a quarter till nine here, so it's getting kind of late. Thanks, Mary, well, thank you for inviting me.
Well, you guys, you saved the day for me tonight, today, and I really appreciate your coming and just on short notice. <laughs> and Asafa thanks you too, because he wouldn't be anywhere without being here. Aw. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Siva Tahu. <laughs> I was pronouncing it with a P A U instead of a T A U. Right. And I had Siva all wrong. But you know, that's what <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming. Okay. Thank um, you. Let's see. Uh, oh, Mass got the name up there. It's Manu Savi Sava Tau. I forgot the Manu. Oh, Manu. See, I forgot something. I forget something all the time. <laughs> so do I, Rosemary. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Good night, Mary. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. Good night, John Boy. Good night. <laughs> I'm Good not night. John Boy, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang up that red phone, Mary. <laughs> okay. Hang up, Mary. <laughs> Good night. Mal.